The RAD podcast is intended for a mature audience. Listener discretion is advised. You are listening to the last art of podcasting. I feel like I should say something smart. I wedged it loose with my ass. I said, look at this motherfucker! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know how this machine worked. Give me your shoe! If the stars had to sound, it would sound like this. For you though, the off to be cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so today we've got Coxie. Hello. Lewis. I'm not Lewis, I'm Arthur, King of the Britons. Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, hello. And uh, the, the hat guy himself, who's not wearing a hat because he's a moron, Mr. Flinders. Hello. So I am actually Darren. Yeah. 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 yeah no. Yeah. 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 There's no limit. Sorry, sorry, I can, oh, I can, I can feel up, guys. Yeah. To, to, to follow on the last podcast, who likes fruit kebabs? <laughs> <laughs> True story. Uh, so, today with the uh, podcast, we're in my uh, workplace, uh, Foxhall Reflex, where we've just had a, a nice little bite to eat and everything, so yeah. hopefully we'll get through the review about that in the next couple of minutes. Um, it's situated currently on the the Blackpool Promenade. Uh, we're upstairs in the actual restaurant, so we're all sat around having a scoff, having a few bevies, just generally chilling out. Unfortunately, and we're in the corner where we can't see any of the beautiful sea views, but... In fact, I can, so fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you bastard. Prime seating. So, the, the Foxhall building itself is actually one of the oldest pubs in Blackpool. It's almost 300 years old, isn't it? It is. It's almost 300 years old. It was actually used as a hotel type effort thing um, for stagecoaches for the um, for the people coming to visit. They all have like your stagecoach uh, uh, crew and all that. They'll stay here. Um, fortunately, um, as the years gone by, the building degraded and all that. And back in the 90s, had a massive fire. Um, when they actually re- rebuilt the pub, they actually found um, two staircases of the original building. One which is situated behind us, and the other one is the uh, servant's uh, staircase, which is uh, uh, back of house. So, useless information there for you. We've got a nice little plaque outside, you know, because we are technically a heritage site as well. Yeah, so. Nice blue heritage trail that you can follow. It's got little white plaques outside the Winter Gardens, the Tower basically all the major landmarks in Blackpool. So it's a nice little pub. Um, downstairs we have uh, the Reflex. If you're, what's the word I'm looking for? If you're uh, well knowledged in the, the, a few drinking venues like Pop World, Flares, and other such venues of that calibre, we are actually all the same chain. Reflex is an 80s bar. Uh, so cheesy 80s music, close massive shoulder pads, and uh, big hair. <laughs> So, shoulder pads, I just thought you were hen. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. Um, we'll, we'll start off with the bad news first. Um, fortunately, this morning it was announced that Chris Cornell died last night. Yeah. Uh, Chris Cornell's famous for being in bands like The Soundgarden, uh, Audio Slave, and Chicken Foot. Chicken Temple Chicken. of the Dog. Temple of the Dog, that's the one. Because he was one with him, any better. Yeah. And also, he did the revamp uh, song for Casino Royale. Yeah, um, which is actually you know, possible. Oh, to, to be honest, it's actually mm-hmm. my favourite um, yeah. James Bond uh, music. Song. I actually heard that this morning, and I was thinking, you know what? Out of all the Bond films, it's probably the best, like best entr- first. Oh, yeah, best Bond theme. There you go. I got it out eventually. Yeah, 
Well, Bob, Bob, Bob from um, Diamonds Are Forever. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm, I'm still a stickler for uh, the Spy Who Loved Me. I'd say I'd say that's still my he just my favourite. How about no, you crazy Dutch bastard? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me, uh, probably have to go Goldeneye. Goldeneye, go, see, Goldeneye is one of those. Yeah. 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 It, yeah, see, with Goldeneye, Goldeneye was one of. I think because we're all nineties kids here, um, it was the first film I went to see by myself with my mates. It's the first Bond film that we was actually we could actually be hyped for because obviously you had like a bit of a hiatus in it between Goldeneye and the last Timothy Dalton. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was actually yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it was quite a big gap. Obviously, with the age of we are, obviously the last t- Bond film that came out before Goldeneye, we probably would have been what four or five, or in some cases like Coxie and Paul Lewis was probably Lewis was still sperm in his dad's testicle. But, Back in my um, day, but <laughs> Coxie was probably still in nappies, and we were just just probably thinking about starting primary Hang on, school. Wait, wait, wait. Goldeneye was ninety five. Yeah, so yeah. ninety eight. Yeah, I was born in ninety. It was ninety eight. Yeah, ninety eighty eight. No, oh yeah, I was one. Yeah, so you'd have been nappies. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think like Goldeneye, I was like, I was on. <laughs> How does Paul think I was that like, mentally? <laughs> at eight years old, I was like, I still it's still a nappy at eight. Hang on a bit, you're going on. Your fucking mental age is not relevant in this case. <laughs> you, refu- gone... you refused to be potty trained, that's what it was. <laughs> just piss myself now. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's all right, so we'll clean it up. Get, get rid of the peer pressure. <laughs> no, um, I was going to go the other one, like the other one, my, one of my favorite, my all-time favorite Bond film, View to a Kill. That was dreadful. No, it wasn't. View to a Kill. Was that the only Bond film to ever get a fifteen? No, was that was, was that uh, Live and Let Die, I believe. Yes. Yeah, that, was it Living Daylights? Living Daylights, not Live and Let Die. Live and Let Die was to PG or twelve. They were all a PG awesome. up until Goldeneye. Apart from that, Living Daylight, which was 15, the rest of them were PG. Mm. And then Goldeneye came out and it was 12. And then all the ones from then on were 12. Yeah. It was like, it was like um, when. What's his name? Uh, ugly fucker that now plays James Bond. Uh, Daniel Craig. Daniel Craig took over and everyone kicked off to say, well, like, oh, it's not cheesy and as funny as it used to be. Because no, because it's going off how the fucking no. book's meant to be. <laughs> yeah. The kick talk is like, why is he blonde? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, considering they're talking about maybe the next Bob being a woman, I mean, imagine the yeah. kickoff that's going to have yeah. going to be if that ends up being a woman. But the, the, the best thing about Casino Royale, apart from the song, obviously, um, was two things happened to me. One, they showed how to make the perfect martini. Yeah. Secondly, Money Penny was fit as fuck, <laughs> <laughs> and it was a damn good game of poker. Uh, what's that was about before? And five. Um, they hold now hold the record for the most flips in a car. Yes, it was yeah, the, yeah. Um, the, the Aston chase of the Aston Martin. Yeah, yeah, the Aston Martin actually, DBRS. Yeah, it's actually on record for having the most barrel rolls in a movie scene. Do you know what car, uh, what film hold the record before that? I'll give you a guess. There's two of them. They're both wearing black, both in shades, and they're both wearing uh, hats. Blues Brothers. Yeah. Blues Brothers hold, held the record for the most flips. Ah. I didn't know that. I'll be honest with you, it's one of them films I've not actually had a chance to watch, which is. Right, crazy. okay, we're stopping now. Out. <laughs> <laughs> Get out! At least, I, at, least, <laughs> at least I acknowledge where, where my failings are, so, you know, do it's, something about it. The Blues Brothers film was not meant to be a musical, it was meant to be slap and tickle, great fun. But unfortunately, it ended up being a musical. <laughs> <laughs> but by far, it is the greatest TV film musical of all time in my mind. Uh, you know, you got you got stuff like uh, um, top of my head. I'm thinking you paint your own wagon, uh, mm. paint your wagon with uh, Clint Eastwood and uh, oh, I can never remember the guy's name. Um, that was great. That was my favourite. I was. I'm always just reminded of the. When they're watching that in The Simpsons, just like, yeah. it's your oh, wagon, wagon with blood, <laughs> I imagine. <laughs> yeah, so and it was. Blues Brothers <laughs> is, is by far one of the greatest movies out there. It's like, it just it was the pinnacle of um, the 70s going into the 80s. And you had Carrie Fisher in there that was fit as fuck. Uh, of course, you had uh, John Belushi and uh, Dan Aykroyd and. 
pretty much every famous person at the time on the show. <laughs> it was like everyone was on it. And then he did Blues Brothers 2000 and fucked it up. Oh, you see, I didn't mind it. I quite enjoyed it because, because I, you know, I as, I grew up, as I grew up, it was more for the music than it was for the actual film. So when the actual film came out, it was like, right, what songs are they playing? Oh, wow, they've got, you know, Eric Clapton on. Oh, wow, they've got uh, Joe Satriani's on there. Oh, wow, they've got this person. And they had one big massive, uh, you know, sesh at the end of it. You know, just playing along. And it was like, that's brilliant. That's what we need. Everyone goes, oh, shit, the chases were shit. No, nothing fucking happened. It was like, oh, you didn't understand the purpose of the fucking film. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't fucking seen it, so I can't even comment. <laughs> so, yeah. So, anyway, yeah. So, uh, unfortunately, Chris Cornell died. Um, so we're, getting, we're getting back on topic. Yeah, <laughs> back on topic. Yeah. What was the problem? Does anyone know? Because I didn't see. Chris I've or... well. It's, it's rumored to be it's rumored to be suicide because they found him in a hotel because he was on tour with Sound with Soundgarden. Yeah, um, and he was well, saying that. I was saying that if you're on tour with Soundgarden, it's depressing, depressing as shit. It's no mm. fucking wonder. Well, it was the, he, he was he, tweeting he, about eight hours before he died as well. Oh. Well, he did a song. He did a. I can't remember the name. I read it before somewhere. Well, on my phone, which I'm currently using. <laughs> um, but he did some cover of a song, but then wrote like intertwined some Led Zeppelin lyrics to. So I can't, is it as I, as I lay dying or something? Or yeah, some, it could some, be his some version Zeppelin of the song. Which, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Um, it's in the shame of it because he's left like a wife and kids behind, and yeah. and the rumor of it, but he was supposed to be uh, coming back doing an album with Audio Slave, which would have been fucking epic. So I love Audio Slave. That's yeah. true. It's sad, but the, maybe perhaps they could. You know, obviously, if the material's already been written, perhaps they could get like a guest singer and do it in, in homage it's, in a way. <coughs> no, 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 no because no, the problem with Chris mm. Cornell is he had a unique voice. Yes, and there's and nothing you can't replicate that. No, this is true. My all-time favorite song from Chris Cornell was uh, "Gasoline" or "Audio Slave" album, and it was the first album they did, and it's track two. And his voice. Now I've I've heard covers of it, and it's like, well, pretty shit that compared to him, the original, because no one could hit the notes like he could. Yeah. So it's like, well, yeah. Anyway, I think we should move on because it's getting a bit. Yeah. Let's do something cheery. <laughs> I'm drinking my pint and I'm sobbing into it. <laughs> right. Um, so yeah. So we'll do the food review. Yes. Now we were uh, invited here. Uh, by uh, members of staff. You. Uh, yeah, you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, it was actually one of the DJs um, suggested that we do our podcast here uh, to do a review on the new food. Now, I, for the food, I've, I've tried more or less all of it, so I'll be a bit biased anyway, so <laughs> kind of got out of the window. So, See Coxie, you. what did you have? I had the, I can't, Find the menu. Find the menu. Find Find the menu. menu. Get the yes. menu. Ah, that's something for I had the bloody a lot. No. <laughs> <laughs> what did I have? <laughs> <laughs> I had everything and said, just scoop it into a trough. I don't need a knife and fork. Put it together, blend it, and I'll just drink it. <laughs> <laughs> you missed the Monty Python reference you just came out with, lad. No, I won't. First, stick it in a trough, and we'll just eat it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had the salmon fried chicken fillet burger. How was it? It's one of the better chicken burgers I've had in a while. Yeah. From yeah. venues. So. so what was on it? Was it just chicken or? No, it was a some some fries. So you had the spice, but it was lettuce and tomato. Lettuce and tomato. Onion, awesome. Red onion. Right. It's funny they always put with chicken, but it gives it a bit of a kick. I <laughs> and I just threw some fancy sauce on there. And fancy sauce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and we, 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 we'll say with... his fancy sauce consisted of tomato <laughs> and mayonnaise mixed together. Now, most people will call that a thousand island. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, that in, on this podcast, we are used to... Um, we have things. Brexit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just come out with a fucking recession, all right? <laughs> <laughs> so it was quite a so, yeah, so, thousand island. <laughs> and uh, you got a sauce on the side of it. What was it? It was bacon A's. Good stuff, which I was it? leading up to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Got in there for you. Because you know, the fucking ball clean. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least I wanted to get you for your birthday. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Fair 
Okay, good. Some bacon eggs. <laughs> Fucking gallon <laughs> bottle of bacon, bacon Let's eggs. Just get me a jar of chili jam and I'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> bacon jam some eggs more anyway. So you enjoyed it, did you? I did. Oh, happy days. What about you, Lewis? I had the southern fried barbecue chicken melt, and I also had a portion of dirty fries on it as well, which is basically just like a bowl of chips with bacon eggs and uh, little bits of bacon on it. Happy days. And it was lovely. So you had chips and more chips. <laughs> it was no, we literally got to the case of Coxie. I had more chips than I needed to. Yeah, exactly my point. Well, oh, yeah. Got it to a point where instead of seeing chips, he just saw sacks of potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> so you enjoyed it, did you? I very much did. Oh, yeah. happy days. Uh, what about you, Paul? What did I you was have? going to consult the menu. What's what I had? I had the jumbo crispy chicken, which is a giant bread. I'm reading it straight off the menu here. A giant breaded chicken schnitzel served with two beer battered onion rings and topped with your choice of either cheese and bacon or chips or curry sauce, which I went for the latter. And. How was it? It was absolutely bloody amazing. Um, like um, on the um, burgers that Coxie had and sell, it had um, lettuce, it had red onion on it. Um, like Coxie said, with the red onion, it gave the chicken a bloody good kick. Yeah, but I awesome. also had um, absolute loads of um, chip shop curry sauce on top, and it was just absolutely divine. See, the best thing ever going to a chippy is chip shop curry sauce. Absolutely. But would you go for the fruit one or the spicy one? Got to be the spicy one. Oh, Come on. Fruity. When you have a chippy, it has to be the fruit ch- curry sauce. You forget who you're talking to. I know. Right? <laughs> See, I was just hoping that you'd pour, just pour the curry sauce over the top of the, top of the bun and just let it. I was tempted. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that would have sounded absolutely funny because there's nothing better when you get, in curry, uh, when you get your fish and chips, go and get some bread and just coat it with curry sauce, then put your chips on. A bit of fish on top of that. Another bit of bread, and slap it on, and it's the soggy bread that just makes it well nice. <laughs> <laughs> I will I'm a bit weird. I will admit, I don't know what cu- cu- uh, chip shop curry sauce you use, but it's one of the nicer ones I've yeah. had that hasn't come from a chippy. It was really, really, really nice. I mean, I'm not being funny. You can't get close to actual proper chip shop curry sauce. You can't be. You can't get near it. But as a you know, some chip shop curry sauce has not come from a chippy. That's probably the best one I've had, at least for a long, long time good stuff and for the obviously the price of it in the menu what I had because it was a little bit larger than what you guys had it was bloody good value for money it really was you know um, can't fault it honestly now there's one thing I would say about this place it, it, if you want to come here for food you're not paying out of pocket you know it's like we've got a deal on with uh, like pub favourite meals two for ni- seven ninety nine. And normally if you go to a pub and so you see the offers two for seven ninety nine or something like that, you're expecting to get half what you're gonna pay for full price. But it isn't the case. It's no. it's good stuff and it's good value for money. Uh, we also do a deal with kids, so based on a family of four and you pay two main meals for adults. I love the way that Alvin's just gone into shill mode. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 I'm, 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 just, I'm, I'm just I'm tempted to go to the kitchen and grab you a plug. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so for a family meal you get two, two family meals for like seven ninety nine, and you get two kids meals uh, and you pay for a tenner for it all day. So we are aimed at families that come to Blackpool. I wouldn't say a bit of a tight budget but uh, Modest budget, shall yeah, we say? Yeah, exactly. Modest budget. Yeah, exactly. You, get, you get plenty for. Yeah, plenty for your plenty for your. Be- uh, plenty for your yeah. I mean, it's it's good to place like this because the rest of Blackpool's fucking extortion, especially the tourist <laughs> places. Jesus Christ, yeah. Harry um, Ramsden's. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Case in point. I mean, here, obviously you can get your meal, and some of the meals on the menu. I know you can get like a drinks, like part as part of it. If you just chuck 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 in a few more coppers, you know, you can get a um, a drink on top. But um, as Alan goes for a piss, um, <laughs> you can, obviously, you know, I, you, Coxie works on the promenade. I won't say where, but there's a, an I'm establishment. Not yeah, we're, we're not going to say where, but um, there's where. an establishment um, where you'd obviously like a, a 500 ml bottle of white beverage would, you know, cost you um, a quid 50 or so. So. Yeah, it's quite good value for money, I think, anyway. Yeah. Uh, so, currently we've just joined him with at the table. We've yeah. got one of the uh, team leaders, uh, Ryan, a.k.a. Sheep. Hello, Ryan. Sheep. Hello. Uh, <laughs> he's uh, the manager for the restaurant upstairs. Um, so, yeah. Hi, Ryan. Hi, guys. How are we doing? Uh, not Hello. too bad, not too bad, lad. Right, so, how do you think the new menu went and everything? Do you think it's going down all right? 
Um, yeah, especially what you guys had. What did you? You had this what? Southern fried burgers. Yeah. I had the uh, jumbo crispy chicken burger thing. Can't remember exactly what it was. Yeah, we yeah. Basically, we're basically all had like chicken. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah you, you really pretty much all had like chicken. chicken. Yeah. I can say next time we'll come, we'll kill another animal. <laughs> <laughs> jumbo <laughs> crispy chicken. Yeah, yeah, yeah there you go. Idea. Um, so how did that go down for you? Yeah, it was I good. Really, really yeah, enjoyed, enjoyed it. it. Absolutely. Yeah, I can say. Um, Probably one of the best establishments we've been seen on the promenade, so... Yeah, exactly, Absolutely. exactly. Yeah, so the uh, new menu's gone down quite a treat, so, you know, those products that you've had there, say the burgers and stuff, like the chicken burgers, mm. for example, are premium products, um, and they are selling really well, to be honest. As I said, I've had, I've had that particular burger myself with chip shop curry sauce, mm. and it is absolutely lovely. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, like I said, I've just, like I said, you know, outside of chip shops, that chip shop curry sauce is probably the best... I've had in a long, long time. I'd say in chips as well, come on. Yeah. Come on. In chip shops as well, come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you've been working here long, have you? Uh, just over a year. Been just been here just over a year. Um, I was joined the staff last year and then promoted up to manager. Um, so, yeah, it's going quite well. Said so the food's selling well for us. Happy days. Yeah. Want to invite all the. Uh, Everyone listening on the podcast here to come down and join us some delicious food. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You can what use Alan's discount just like we have. <laughs> <laughs> can you buy a fucking discount or your bastards? Um, so just yeah. mention RAD on the door. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, as it says, um, uh, us lads here at the RAD podcast, uh, we've joined up with the uh, Reflex team. So, you will hear quite a lot of um, events being uh, plugged. Um, so we've got like the bank holiday weekend coming at the end of the month. We've got the uh, Baywatch uh, weekender, where you'll find me in a uh, full lovely Pamela Anderson costume. Yeah, yeah, with my it. nightmare <laughs> fuel for the next six months. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we, we have um, like loads of events. As long as you run over in slow motion. Yes. Oh, I will be doing. <laughs> I love it. To, to the point, right? Because it's coincided quite nicely with the um, new Baywatch film. Now, I was expecting a whole load of shit, but then I watched the trailer. I am mildly surprised at it. Yeah. I really am. And I hate Zach uh, Efron, man. He's a complete little prick. But uh, <laughs> he, he could come over and he was like, right, so it's, oh, The Rock's in it. Oh, okay. oh, I just want to make characters. Carry enough. Carry on to watch that. Basically, two to guys the taking the piss. <laughs> oh, for God's <laughs> sake. Fucking copyright again. <laughs> <laughs> No, I've got 30 dickhead. seconds. I'm allowed 30 <laughs> seconds, remember? So That'll do. <laughs> so I was, I, was, I was madly surprised, and it's going to be quite... I think it's going to be a good film, and the event ties in quite nicely with uh, what's happening. So it was either that or dress up as The Rock, but... Uh, I think he just couldn't pull it off. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, shit, I can't even do the fucking eyebrow for a start. That's Q that. Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, it's just yeah, it was quite good. But yeah, it's just much appreciated. Uh, for yeah, popping in, uh, for sorting it all out. That's no problem, guys. Thank you very much. So, yeah, get back to work. Thanks for chat. <laughs> See you later. Have fun. All you need to do is get some gear in you. Yeah. Get a bit of training done. Do you like that? No time. Get, get some bit, gear into me. What'd be yeah. more scary if he ends up looking like Jinnah Mall? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll just end up having uh, what's the sorting heart as a belly. Yeah. <laughs> <Poor> <laughs> <me>. <laughs> you've got some gear, you've got to rock the under armour, you've got to keep fashioning your, your weight, your arms. To be, to, to be honest, I do, that with, I, do, do, I do that with my cufflinks when I'm wearing a suit. It's like, um, I always wear cufflinks with it. And to be honest, you don't know you're doing it until um, it was like a when a couple of weeks back. And uh, I was there for ages, so you know, I was just far around. And then throughout a whole day, I was just doing that. And there's a whole lot of pictures appearing on Facebook with me just doing this, <laughs> yeah, far arse around with the cufflinks. You should have just got yourself a fidget spinner. <laughs> well, he wears a bit more like the rock. He's constantly. <laughs> oh, Sunglasses, looking up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Occasionally doing that with a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so man. yeah, but yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It should be a good laugh. Spent 20 quid in this outfit, so it should be funny. <laughs> <laughs> Big ass hairy bush as well. There, <laughs> there needs to be pictures. This needs to be seen. That, <laughs> does it though? Does it really? Of course it will. It, there will be pictures. 
because uh, well, well, I need, I need, I need a new logo <laughs> for the podcast. The problem is, though, if you're serving and there's sort of like a bollock, a bollock falls out. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'll sit down, I'll bring him over, see you, and I'm like, mate. Like, so it's all right, here's your drink, no, mate. It's the scene out of Jackass, isn't it, with the old man? Some guy pulls up and goes, look, you've got a bollock hanging out, mate. Sort it out. But yeah. Al- as the manager just comes up to like, Alan, you've dropped a fucking bollock, mate. I've done a good <laughs> job, though. I'm doing a great job. Bollocks to that. <laughs> Bollocks to that. Hey. <laughs> Oh, but yeah, so yeah, it was it was quite good. I'm, I'm actually looking forward to uh, looking to uh, find this outfit because it is absolutely beautiful. He's currently scrolling through yeah. to yeah. find this outfit so he can, you know, we, he can, you know, make sure we don't actually get a decent night's sleep tonight. <laughs> uh, so. Yep, yeah, definitely. Well, it's fine. I got a new mattress, so I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Delightful. <laughs> Has it been tested to its maximum capacity? <laughs> no, it's not feeding, so... <laughs> no, no squeaking of the bed. <laughs> Don't know yet. No, he's not jumped on it yet. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I am not sleeping tonight. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh dear lord. Yeah. <laughs> it's, either I'm going to, it's either I'm not sleeping tonight or that's going in the memory wank bag, one or the other. <laughs> I'd be going in your memory wine bank. I don't know about us. So yeah, so we're looking forward to that. So this leads on to well, the next question. Well, you're looking forward to it. Um, uh, uh, favourite pubs in Blackpool? Well, there's no point in asking me because I don't go to Blackpool. Apart, apart from going to in apart, Southport. Apart from going to your gaff. Uh, well, fair point, fair point. Well, in that case, favourite pubs in Southport? Uh there's only really one I can think of. It's Old an Irish. Boston. <laughs> Sorry, what? Oh, Liverpool. <laughs> Shut up, Daz. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> the only one I can think of in Southport is an Irish bar called O'Leary's. Um, That's very does... generically Irish. Well, I know yeah. it is, but they do the freshest pint of Guinness. Uh, probably in Southport that I can think of freshest pint uh, it comes from a barrel how can it be any fresher you're not a Guinness drinker so you wouldn't understand the reference oh, so. <laughs> Guinness elitism I like it yeah. <laughs> hey Guinness elitism he knows the secret handshake and everything. you don't fucking understand it <laughs> I ain't no handshake <laughs> <laughs> and um, they, they do have um, they do have live music Pretty much every single night, and depending on who you get, it can either be really fucking great or really fucking abysmal. One of them is it? Yeah. Mm. Well, it's, well, it's it's one of those. If you know, if you know the quality of the performer, then you know the right night to go. Ah, fair point. It makes sense. Yeah. What about you, Coxie? Oh fucking hell, that's a tough choice. See, I used to love the Blue Room yeah. before yeah. it was really expensive and closed. And uh, now I just sit there outside and drinking book fast and <laughs> <laughs> so wondering where life went wrong. <laughs> life went wrong with Blueberry put the prices up. They might, have, <laughs> they might have closed, but I still drink there. <laughs> okay. That just makes me sound even more tragic. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I quite like Malloy's. Um, but I've done the World's End in Blackpool three times. Oh. Um, which is a ball ache to do. I need to do. I need to uh, partake in this um, one. Um, if we're going sort of chains, I like the Lake and Rakes. Yeah. Sort of for a non-chain, um, there isn't any. Uh, Just there is. There is. <laughs> there's a very. There's very few, few. non-chain pubs in Blackpool. Yeah, there's a few. Okay. And the Pump and Truncheon's one, isn't it? Pump and Truncheon. No, it's part of chain. It's uh, owned by the guys who owns the Tash. Oh, okay. I meant more like a Weatherspoons or like a Marston's or something like that. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Just to so emphasise, the is not bad. This is hotel. I don't drink in there. I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, you fucking live there. <laughs> if I could get away with it, I would. It's <laughs> 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 got a cardboard box in the backyard and everything. It's not a cardboard box. Fuck off. I hollowed out a barrel. <laughs> <laughs> in case you get a fed peanut, it's a bit of port scratching. That's a bad <laughs> <laughs> You're right there, Al. Yeah. Just sleep in. <laughs> Just give me a push, it's a mobile home. <laughs> <laughs> Just roll me home, I'll be alright. <laughs> Just roll me in the right direction. <laughs> <laughs> 
What outside? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Al, you're going to yeah. need to put your arms and feet in. Right? Yeah. I can't get the fucking door. Alan, <laughs> Alan are you pissed? I'm just fucking busy. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Pump and Junction's a good one. Um, Farmer's Arms, well, another good one because it's cheap and it's near me. Yeah. Farmer's um, Arms. Great pub, Farmer's Arms. I'm not, don't diss it. I'm dissing it, listen. <laughs> the Swift Hound, because we did, we did the first podcast there. Oh, I, said um, oh, I, like it. I know what I was waiting for. I was like, I was waiting for the perfect answer. He's waiting for me to say the reflex. No, no, <laughs> far from it. I was waiting for the Tash more than anything. Oh, I'll go with Tash as well, then, yeah. Or they may slap in, right? Just for the pure dive that Don't say the mitre. <laughs> no, it's rough as fucking then. <laughs> um, but I'm thinking of a certain wine bar. Oh, Scrooges. Scrooges. I fucking live there. <laughs> <laughs> That's no word of a lie. <laughs> Hey, when you're on first name terms with the bar staff, it's all right. <laughs> all right, calm down. <laughs> so, sorry, Al, who so, works no, at Foxhall. Oh, oh, shit. Hang on. <laughs> hang on. We had Guinness elitism. Bar Scrooge's, el- Scroo- Scrooge's elitism. <laughs> Get there eventually. What's next? There. <laughs> uh, yeah, so what? I can't get outism. <laughs> yeah, Scrooge's... Is, I'm, I'm going to have to be... I've been barred from Scrooge's more times than I can count. <laughs> um, for... Underages and shit like that, but uh, yeah, it, it's, it smells like recently. shit. Yeah, it's just, it's just, it smells like shit. It's damp, and they sell red strap behind the bar in cans. In cans, and sometimes on tap. And sometimes on tap, <laughs> as it says, fucking great bar. <laughs> <laughs> when you it mean is. on tap, is it like the bit out of Phoenix Nights where they're actually got the pint? They have, they've got the bottle hidden behind. Them. <laughs> well, yeah, just finishing that off for you, love. <laughs> <laughs> What was that? Nothing. <laughs> no, it's, um, they actually do have it on tap because it yeah. was, they went from, I think they had carling for a bit and then they got rid of that and got red stripe on tap. Mm. So. Cheaper. Why not? What about you, Paul? Um, I would have to say stuff like that Swift Ham because it's where most mostly go. But um, That's because it's two minutes outside your fucking house. It's literally just outside my Wi-Fi range. So, but I said that a lot on the on the, on the um, last podcast. Please come and share this table. I get Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> No, we're sitting on the far side, Paul. Oh, I'm on 4G. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Do you not think about my phone, Bill? <laughs> but uh, other than that, um, I can't really say. I do quite like... Uh, I, funny enough, I did quite like the mitre. Um, no one likes the mitre. <laughs> there is a reason why it's no quiet. one. It's um, quiet. That's the fucking reason. <laughs> <laughs> I like the pub's quiet, though. Um... Honestly, like I say, it's probably the Swift Hound, but I did go to. It's not strictly Blackpool. I went to the Blossoms. Um, yeah, a couple of few days ago when I was working, and that's really fucking nice. Really nice. <laughs> it's not a patch on reflex, though. No, <laughs> no it's just, my, my, my favourite. Oh, it's same again, due to localised brewers, is uh, the Albion, which is in Bispam. Uh, Ganga Pub. That she turned into a pizzeria. Ooh, as you do. As you do, for some odd, stupid fucking reason. But, good pint in there. And my local local, which is the Bisbon Hotel. I pretty much live in there. Uh, I really do. I think I'm there most uh, evenings uh, after, uh, I think, every Tuesday and Thursdays. Yeah, to, be honest, to be honest, you don't really need to be finishing work to have an excuse to go there, do you? No, <laughs> yeah, but when I'm on a bike. So I've got my bike, so I come to work, I can't really have a couple of bevies, can I? Yeah. So by the time I get home, get the bike dro- dropped off and wander up, it's only 10 minutes down the road. Emphasise so. motorbike, because I've had I've been on the pushback and had plenty of bevies, that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I've been a dick. Yeah, 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 yeah <laughs> being a dick, uh, cycling down uh, Kirkham Station stairs, piss, that was fun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> As As you do. <laughs> So you lost your virginity this week, haven't you? Yes, I lost my uh, gig virginity this week, yes. Not only that, an- another pub virginity. Yeah, Reds. Yeah, well, not, Reds isn't a pub. Ah, there you go. It, technically it was, it started off as a pub. I can't remember that part about pub. Yeah, it started <laughs> off as a pub. Then they kind of went to food, and the food kind of did better than the pub. <laughs> so they went, but, well, fuck that, oh, it's a restaurant, man. But yeah, me and Coxie went to Manchester to uh, go watch a, watch CKY live. Um, beforehand, Coxie had like sort of an epiphany, went, we've got to have reds. <laughs> so we're like, I've never had reds, is it good? And Coxie was just like, 
Follow my teachings. <laughs> and Imagine if Pornhub was food. Yes. <laughs> Basically, that's a yeah, very What good takes your fancy? We've got Asian, we've got Bukaki. <laughs> <laughs> Just stand still, white, you'll see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <But> yeah. <laughs> I can't believe what's fucking said. <laughs> That's definitely worse than free fruit now. <laughs> BBW, <is> that, fucking, <laughs> that fucking cider must be good stuff. <laughs> it's going down a treat, he's happy, mm. smiley. But funny enough, it it's was... even in a Magnus glass. Yeah. Oh god, right glass this time. Um, but <coughs> but uh, we all, funnily enough, we all ordered the same fucking thing, didn't we? We did. The problem is, you've let yourself down the way because you don't like cheese. No. And they have a brilliant cheeseburger they call the Juicy Lucifer. You don't realise how the much... The Juicy I... Lucifer? Yes. Ooh. Go and Literally, explain it. Right, if you watch that Man vs. Food, a, you go to a burger place in Minneapolis, I think, and they basically walk in and he's like, right, you don't no more burgers here. They do a burger with cheese in the middle and another burger on top. And then yes. they mush, mush them together and cook it. So the burger is inside a molten cheese centre. Yeah, that was a massive thing in the nineties. You used to get two for you basically uh, you get frozen. Well it's burger. come back. <laughs> 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 but it's not frozen, it's fresh. How do you so, know? How do you know? Because it's reds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a believer. <laughs> <laughs> Send us free <laughs> shit reds. <laughs> the thing is, hold on. He's actually oh, got a load of card. Has he got a load of I'm a fucking card carrier. <laughs> Oh, what the hell? It is... Wow. He actually does. Yes. No, he, yeah, actually, he, he actually has. Lewis currently holds in his hand my Reds True Believer card, which Worship. is actually a points card. Worship at Reds and now shall reap rewards. How come you didn't claim it? Hmm. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I was high then. on meat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there was. Yeah. Uh, there so was... essentially, it's that. But quite big, and you get like their, their signature burger sauce on it, yeah. and jalapenos and onions and shit. But it's got like that big. Plus, it comes with dirt, like fried up. I think they call it fried up fries rather than dirty fries. Fried up, I had fried up fries, didn't I? Yeah, they were good. It's, you make a dirty fry, which is like similar to here, where it's, it's yeah, cheese, the, the cheese and jalapenos and stuff on it. On the I've fries. always fancied actually doing a dirty fry up. So just I'll leave you that one too. Chop it, chop up a normal fry up, add it to chips. Uh, a ch- ch- shit ton of like cheese sauce and bacon aids on it and a shit ton of extra bacon I reckon and inject the fat straight into your heart <laughs> <laughs> here you go sir I believe you ordered the heart attack on the plate <laughs> <laughs> what did it mean <laughs> well, um, so yeah they had that and I was sort of trying to talk my brother was tempted to get it and I was like he, he kept saying I'm not going to get the chicken and ribs I, I've had enough ribs and he's like he looked at it and I said well I'm going to get the chicken and ribs and pull it sounds good I think I'll join you and then all three of us yeah fuck it we'll have the chicken and ribs <laughs> yeah but if you don't realise when I saw the Juicy Lucifer and I read it you don't realise how much I wanted to weep because it was like <laughs> it's got fucking cheese on it <laughs> it's like, well, man the fuck this. up, get over your... <laughs> well, man the fuck up, get over your little poncy uh, disgust of cheese and just get on with it. I wish it was that fucking easy, I really do. It really is that fucking easy, though. <laughs> Open your gob, fill it with cheese and hope for the best. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to vomit. <laughs> or just go for khaki. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cover that shit with some fucking sauce. <laughs> 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 Cover it in multiple barbecue sauces. <laughs> <laughs> barbecue khaki. Do the barbecue khaki. <laughs> Fuck it, Al. Oh. <laughs> Wait, it's just, uh, Ryan's just come over looking at us in a rather weird voice because what are you going on about? <laughs> Talking about barbecue khaki. <laughs> I'm going to leave that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you get rid of managers. Just for that comment, guys, I've got to come back in just a while. You're just sitting, I'll silent, just stare at him. Right, here we go. <laughs> 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 you just reckon he's just 
it's like the test of his face. Don't give you want it back. So don't be like you just like you got beard envy. <laughs> <laughs> So oh. anyway, you were at Reds. Yes, we were at Reds. We were at Reds in Manchester. You all ordered the chicken and ribs. We did. It's a bit like Nando's when you get two bits and or one big bigger side or whatever. Two sides or one side. It was, yeah, you got two small sides or you can get one big fuck off side, basically. Be or fat. if you're really, really fat, you have no sides. It's all about <laughs> fat. <laughs> <laughs> no, or just you've got a hole in your shirt yes. again. Well, he's got holes in his shirt. So this is, this is a recurrent. As well. It's a recurrent theme, isn't it, for these podcasts? That Alan has to wear an upper garment, which has Don't got finger it. <laughs> Alan is fingering his hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear me! Uh, <laughs> but yes, we, Reds. Yes, uh, we have much as good. Um, oh yeah, we had the chicken and ribs. I had the sides. It was uh, cornbread and slaw. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dear God, what have I started? <laughs> you had the cornbread and... I had cornbread and I had skin on fries, which were fired up. For 25p extra? Yes, whole 25p to get and fried up. Christ fried up. had... I want to say cornbread and possibly fries I as well. I don't think he had cornbread. I don't think he had fries. He may, I have, had onion, he may have had onion rings. Though. No, he had one more side of macaroni <laughs> cheese. Yes, it did. Yeah, it was macaroni cheese. Mac and cheese. Me? Hey? Oh, <laughs> I need some space. Oh. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> exactly. Um, so, yeah, we went there, went to Grand Central for a quick bevy, and then wandered down to Rebellion. And uh, what's essentially that, the revival of Smashing Pumpkins. Yeah, it was fucking amazing. Um, to be fair, they were fucking amazing. Strangely. Yeah, it, it, a band called Poppy, uh, a British band. Um, oh. I did a little bit of I did a little bit of background in, like reading on them didn't I before we set off and yeah. um, apparently they have been nominated for the best new band for Metal Hammer best newcomer or something best newcomer yeah the only show where we can have newcomer and Bukaki on the same thing <laughs> <laughs> say it just throw it out there oh, constantly God. innovating <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag making things better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, <coughs> but yeah, they, I, I, I honestly was in a bit of a um, situation. Was like, what, you know, I, I paid to go see CKY play, hmm. but did I prefer the support acts? <laughs> right now, you can get the fuck out. <laughs> get out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did really. Hard. To be fair. <laughs> to be fair. Um, Puppy were good. They were. They were really good. The one of the better supporters I've like seen with when seeing a band. Mm. I've seen so much of also dog shit. Mm. And then they give me a, try to give me a free CD on the way out. I was like, no, you're not. <laughs> <okay."> <laughs> yeah, I do need a coaster. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, they, they did about a bit CD wind chimes. <laughs> <laughs> I may have to start doing. <laughs> this looks like YouTube, but here's what I'm doing with your CD is drilling holes in it. That it's my wind chime collection. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag your band is shit. <laughs> <laughs> but did you enjoy CKY? Oh, fucking right, we did. Come on. Happy days. Amazing. But, I mean, P- Puppy did a great half hour set, didn't they? Yeah. And then CKY was on for what, an hour and a half, roughly? Well, about, well, about an hour. They went, they, I think they went on longer, didn't they? Didn't they didn't build? Slightly longer? Or was it? I think they came on slightly earlier, so I think they did about 75 minutes. Mm. So, but yeah, they would. They did a good fucking set though, didn't they? Yeah. The place was bouncing. They played all the all the well known stuff from like Volume One and Difficult Trade to Destroy Rebuild. Mm. So Plus a few you, new... had, you had your ninety six quite a bit of things, you had Knee Deep. Yeah. Happy Days. Uh Lost in the Contraption, I think they played. Yeah. Flesh into Gear. Del Rio. Not Del, Del Rio. Um, Rio Grande. Rio Bravo. Rio Bravo. Either. You get there eventually. <laughs> yeah. I was working yeah. as well, so I couldn't make it. Absolutely gutted. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yes, I recall the several fuck yous in the group chat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> How do we still see who I said Paul? <laughs> fuck you, said Alan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Samuel Jackson narrate that. Yeah. What time does it start, said Thomas? <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> 
I am. Working. I was going for sure Thomas Tank Engine thing there, but you're all chef on it. So I didn't mean that's not what you were going for. Yeah. Oh, right. Doesn't have a Scouse accent because I Ringo Starr, but. Um. <laughs> Since we're on the conversation about food, here's one for you. So actually, this is Paul's, but I'm nicking it off him. What's the best food for hangovers? Um. Oof. What they're there for? <laughs> what food? Yeah, we know. Yeah, there's that as well. Sustenance the problem for me is I sort of follow my mate's, my mate's old advice and tradition of he goes for like a Mackey's milk, a strawberry milkshake from Mackey's, and he's that does him, and it seems to do me as well. Mm. It reminds me have to fry up a bottle of Lucasade and a Chinese takeaway later on that evening. <laughs> Fucking hell, it lasts that long. Oh, <laughs> you. Yeah. Well, again, but then, how much do we drink? This is true. I mean, I, I well, I'm, I, I'm maximum used to that six. You need pints. Jesus as your friend. I just, <laughs> I've got a pint of water. Look again. Look you. <laughs> so, yeah, it always used to be like fucking. Say, if I've had a heavy night out, wake up the next morning, I'd be like, feeling still. All right. So, just for the record, um, sounds like somebody's getting murdered downstairs. Yeah. <laughs> or filming a really violent porno. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you all like I told you not to film Bukaki in here again. <laughs> <laughs> Come again? Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> just hold him down a bit. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I'm scared of sending pictures. And that's why there's an entry fee to get in. <laughs> no, it's like you ever watch... You nail him down and then Cap- I... You, you know, know you watch Carrie? And she's sitting there, she's covered in blood and she's mm. flinging down the hammer. It's yeah. just really some guy jizzing all over him. <laughs> 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 Rip it off and go, yeah, sorry, it's an STD in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that like that. Uh, <laughs> just just stringing off. No, but seriously, <laughs> if, you have, if I'm still drunk in the morning, fry up. And it kind of kicks in the hangover. Then, of course, you oh, thought, what, a bottle of Lucasade? Then you go back to bed for a bit. Then you wake up, you're like, I'm fucking starving now. Chinese takeaway. <laughs> Works a treat every time. Mackey's breakfast <laughs> today with an extra hash brown. Well, my it's the only way it works. No, it's the only see, I can't do Mackey's I can't do Mackey's or BK. If I've got a hangover, I can't touch Mackey's or BK. Oh. Only, mil- only like a milkshake or something. Mm. If, I t- if I see or smell it, smell like a... A, a, a grease. Uh, yeah. If I see even like see a bloody sausage muffin or whatever, yeah, so, like, no, that's it. Yeah, try working in there with a hangover. Mm. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> never again. That's all I'm saying. Never um, ever again. It works for me though. Like I say, but saying that, I usually end up ending the night on a big fat burger because I'm a fat bastard, basically. But uh, I do, no, I do, I do that where he mm. and I've done that with a milkshake as well. I've had a milkshake and a meal, mm. and then I've woke up fine. Like, this is weird. Yeah, you've absolutely got blitz and you wake up stone cold sober. Yeah. And you're like, absolutely fine. <laughs> it, it's it's the um, the embarrassing uh, breakfast. You wake up and you've got half a crab stuck to your face. And you're like, yeah. Uh, there you go. I'll just finish it off. <laughs> <laughs> just eat it. I can't well, say I've done that. I, mean, well, I, you, I, I, I don't really have like a food. Like if I'm ever hungover, I'll just like stock up on milkshakes and just like swing away on them while I'm dying in bed <laughs> Mom, I don't feel well I feel so fucking bad why <laughs> why did I do that <laughs> why did I go drink that wrestling promoter <laughs> <laughs> Bacardi and Guinness oh my oh. god the worst fucking pint I ever had <laughs> <laughs> it's not hard you're wrong oh, <laughs> That is nasty. No, the worst nasty. pint I can I've say never, to you. I've never actually done that, like, but I'm just sort of thinking of the most disgusting combination possible. I can, you know, the worst pint I've ever had was a pint of milk after I had that heat extract. Mm. <laughs> it was just sheer pain. <laughs> Definitely now, I'll, the worst I'll tell pint. You, I'll tell you a good drinking story I've had. Um, it was back when I was still working at Tesco, so it's probably about two, three years ago at this point mm. and I was on a mission to just get pissed cause, because I'd literally just recently gone through a bad breakup and all that um, and yeah, drinking, 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 drinking it gets to about two o'clock in the morning and a mate of mine who um, is, you know 
she knows a way around. She's she's very much in every single club that's available in town. She you know she's she enjoys a good night out. She. So what are you knew... trying to say? She's easy game. No. <laughs> <laughs> the other one's saying that. Hey. Um, I was getting punched. She was. She's <laughs> this particular club. She's always able to get like a free bottle of something, whether it be like a bottle of vodka or like a bottle of JD. That night, it was a particular bottle of gin. Um, now, me, two o'clock in the morning, completely blitzed out of my head, and I can't actually remember this, saying this, but I took this glass, poured myself a glass of gin, paused one second, turned to my mate and said, is there any lemonade in this? And she sarcastically went, no, there isn't. So I went, right, okay, down the whole lot. Oh! Woke up with a stinking fucking hangover, <laughs> and a rather perfumey taste in my mouth the next morning, I just like... <laughs> Have I just gone into the freaking the toilets where the freaking bloke is with the freaking aftershaves and just gone? Yeah, I'll have some of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, yeah. <laughs> Come on, go 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 <laughs> <laughs> one for the pudani. <laughs> <laughs> no dutch chicken banana, no sucking your banana. <laughs> Yeah, that was a That's stick a bit racist, here. that. <laughs> <laughs> this is what they've actually said they to me about say it, We just yeah, want to say this for the record on um, the R.E.D. podcast that that was uh, Coxie's impression of... Uh, <laughs> my, name, my new name is Darren Truby. <laughs> <laughs> I work at the auctioneer uh, pub on the Living Road near uh, Mark Kelly's south. Yeah. So um, you can find me there most days. Um, yeah. And the one that says, yeah, a lot, and I wear glasses. <laughs> <laughs> but then there was nothing, nothing got on, so I was in the, in the pub taking a piss one time, and the guy started singing, he's going, Don't forget the Punani. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> so, yeah, don't forget your dog singing Ravana. <laughs> That's the point, right? Do you feel a bit intimidated? Yes, yeah. absolutely. With the basic jump in front of you. Yeah, yeah. You're sitting there. You're having a good old slash. All right. And you're there turning around. Next me goes. I don't tend to find that the jump in front of me. Wow, I'm mid slash. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. You got. You turn around to go watch your hands. Let me finish it off for you. <laughs> <laughs> there was a sketch. I think it was more than wise. Or it's not more than wise. Was it a sketch show? It's get, there's some sort of show that did that. There's a guy went to the toilet and he's there. And he's like Lee Matt comes up next to me. He's like, "Hold it for you, sir." And the guy. <laughs> it was shake three it, of them. For you, sir. It was three of them. <laughs> Lee Mark, his mate, I can't remember. He does. He did. Uh, no, not was going out with Tim Van, Tim Van, and yeah, Jim and Fingy, and then two women. Yeah, and, and they're um, all there holding each other. So one says, "Oh, could someone?" And he, he most of the guys in the, the toilet is in like the in like the waistcoat and that, and he goes, "Hold it for you, sir." He's like, "Okay." Shake it for you, sir. <laughs> it could have been like Manly Python or something. Yeah. Like, something I like. have seen it. I've got, the I one were you thinking of like... uh, Lee Mack? Um, they actually did one where three went into the toilet. Yeah. Uh, one went in the toilet. Another guy stood there and goes, and he just grabbed his pint, looked at him, shook the pint, and he's going to hold it for him as he sucked the pint, put his pint down. Another guy comes in, seen what he was doing, and he, got, uh, he wanted to swig his pint, so he held it as he swigged his pint. All sitting there, and all that. And the other guy at the edge just sits there, and starts doing this. <laughs> <laughs> starts giving the hand shandy. And then again, he just kind of all just went zip and walked out again. But no, it's just like, you know, toilet attendants. Yeah. <laughs> I thought the lady yeah. just moved on moved from that. that. Yeah, but, but, anyway. the to- but the toilet attendants, you, you feel like intimidating. You, you, you've gone in there, you've gone for a week, you come down to wash your hands. And next week you're going, he, he's throwing tea towels, you know, like... Uh, paper towels at me well it's when they do that but then they start pushing the hand soap for you and stuff as well and then yeah. they're like oh they push a tap for you and like like oh you're doing good tonight <laughs> you're going to go to play your ladies and they're like they're trying to get your after shave and I just go oh my allergies and I always walk out then one at Hogarth's he stopped me and he said come back in mate you have to finish it I'm like, I have can't do it allergies <laughs> 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 I remember one that squirted a um, hand yeah. uh, squirted it off in my hand. <laughs> Khaki in your face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but he, um, like, they had the hand wash. You always, you, always expect... start off, you always always start off with a bit of Aussie charm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I was just going to the sink to wash my hands. Just, uh, just got, 
I was going to do that myself, thank you. Yeah. So I just washed my hands and I went. So he, then, was, he, so then he, sh- he then he shoved the plate in front of me with all this like pound coins on it. But oh, fuck off. So you just went, oh, thank you. Did that one, mate? Cheers, mate. So <laughs> then, then, another, did another one walk in and do the same thing for you? And you're saying like there's two handfuls of hat like cream like. <laughs> and he's just like shoving a train in front of you. So like, there's your pay, like, fuck off. <laughs> just like, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, mate, let me get the wallet open just so you can tip it in there. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be brilliant. Just shove it in there, like, just, just, just put, put your t shirt like, like a bucket or something like that. Just tip it in there, I'll go to the bar. Yeah. What are you uh, drinking? I'll buy you one. Next time I'll be like, Paul's eating tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? That's what I always do. I just raid the the you know, the toilet attendants when I'm that skint. <laughs> no, they, they do come over very intimidating. It is just infuriating when you sit there. You go like, I've no fucking change. It was like um, but it's not so much that, but it's the ones that like they're there with like, all the expensive looking bottles of all the latest per- like colognes and stuff. <laughs> clones. And after shaving shit, but they'll they'll say it's cologne, and then it's like, but you know, it's watered down bullshit. Mm. Is it? What, you should, what you should do, we ask them, is to do take American Express. <laughs> <laughs> no, the worst one was, was HQ over uh, East Weekend. And I walked into there. Wash my hands, can't keep up. Sorry, mate, I've no change. Oh, it's alright, I have plenty. <laughs> <laughs> and I just went, no. <laughs> and I walked it off again. It was like, it's funny that you just go American Express because you can just go, do you do cash back? Come here to go, hey, mate. He's like, take Amex now. Like, Come with me. <laughs> take you into, take you into cubicle. You had like this secret knock, and then this thing comes down. It's like, guys, yeah, uh, what can I get you? <laughs> do you carry change? <laughs> <laughs> Some guy in a little booth like, out of the toilet is going, what would you like? <laughs> he goes, do you, do you take card? And he pulls down his pants. Goes, yeah. <laughs> Swipe here. Sign here. <laughs> well, I think on that note, we'll have a quick break. Yeah. Good. <laughs> yeah, we'll be very back shortly after these messages. Hello, this is for... I can't we say hello at the same time? Fuck's sake. <laughs> Hello! Hello! This is an advertisement for Master Debaters. Oh, can we say Master Debaters together as well? Yeah? Hello! Hello. I am Michael. I'm Sean. I'm Toffer. And we are the Master Debaters. Oh, <laughs> we, 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 we are the Master Debaters. That's what I want to do. We're all saying it. Yeah. Hello! Hello. I'm Michael. I'm Sean. I'm Toffer. And, and we, we are, are the Damn Master it, Sean. Debaters. Damn it, Sean! I thought we were just doing... Hello. Hello! I'm Michael. I'm Sean. I'm Toffa. We are... The, the Master, Master Debaters. Debaters! You can find us on Twitter at underscore Master Debaters, SoundCloud, Podbean and iTunes. Just do yourself a favour and jump aboard this podcast train. Choo choo, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> what is the Pattern Family? This is Gareth from the Open All Powers Podcast. This is Adam from Everyone Has a Podcast. This is Matthew McDonough from the Passersby Podcast. This is Nick from the Epic Film Guys Podcast. This is Eric Marker from the Markers Podcast. Hey, this is Rick from Ice and the Face. Hey guys, it's Rad Dad Chad. J Mills. And Lil Man. From the Full of Fiber Podcast. Hey, we're Josh and David from the Scotch and Flicks Podcast. Hey y'all, it's Juliette Miranda from the Unwritable Rant Podcast. Hey, this is Bro from the World of Row Podcast. This is Cyanide from the Little Geek Lost Podcast. This is Paul from the Countdown Movie and TV Reviews Podcast. This is Greg from the Sports Stands Podcast. This is Nock from the Geek Yogurt Podcast. We are you. Podcasters coming together in a community to help one another grow. So follow us on Twitter at Potter Family and use the hashtag Potter Family in your tweets and retweet other people who do the same. Potter Family, where great podcasts come home. Hi, I'm Paul the Hat Guy Flinders, and I am the host of the RAD podcast, Random Ass Discussion. And we discuss about absolutely anything that's on our minds. Doesn't matter how taboo the subject is, we will talk about it and give you our opinion. Whether it's popular or not, controversial or not, or thought-provoking, or just downright daft. You can find us on Spreaker at www.spreaker.com forward slash RAD podcast. You can follow us on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash UK RAD podcast. We are on Twitter at UK RAD podcast. 
And we are also now on iTunes. Bro! Uh, just search for us at the UK RAD podcast and we should show up. So if you're ready for a bit of uh, random ass discussion, a little bit of um, comedy gold and maybe a little bit of thought provoking uh, conversation, uh, come over and join the fun. And just remember, there are plenty of podcasts out there, but not that many of them are rad. Welcome back to the RED podcast, or shall we say pubcast. Uh, at so Reflex. The, uh, the RED slash re- Lost Art. Yes. Oh, <laughs> you had to get it in, didn't he? He did. The RED slash Lost said. Art podcast at the Foxhall Reflex. Well, after that little break, um, <laughs> we've got some tasters. Yeah, we've, we've had our um, main course. We're now going to have dessert. Yeah. So, um, once again, keeping in the theme that we have been having the last couple of weeks is the uh, rock tasters. My little yes. stick so, of black. So, um, rock. Coxie, what kind of rock you got there, mate? <laughs> <laughs> you are such a bellend. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, t- I can honestly say that before we started up, we were just like, right, who wants what? And I immediately said, well, I want this particular flavour. And I believe it was Paul said, well, I don't want this particular flavour. And then Alan just took what was left and said, there you go, Coxie. And just like, yeah. oh, you bastard. <laughs> yeah. Because the problem is, I fucking hate Palmer Violets. <laughs> and I've got Violet Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. <laughs> don't lie to me again. You've got a, you've got a full uh, glass of Magda's there to wash you down with, if you don't like it. You'll so. be fine. Foaming at the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> I probably will. Uh, what about you, Lewis? What have you got? I have got ye old fashioned humbug. Yep. Uh, what about you, Paul? <laughs> I have blueberry <laughs> muffin <laughs> flavour rock. So. And I'm sitting here with coconut. Now, I'm going to announce this now. I'm not a massive fan of coconut. And I don't like palm of so fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> so, I really want the blueberry muffin, but he's a dick. Uh, Paul's a dick. I am a dick. So, uh, hey, to be fair though, I've had uh, garlic bread rock. Well, so the thing is though, they say the blueberry muffin. There is no muffin in that. No. <laughs> there is no muffin we've, we've, involved at all. With my experience of tasting funky flavored rock, you tend to say, for example, garlic bread flavor rock. You tend to get garlic, but there's no hint of bread. Yeah, <laughs> uh, there is no hint of bread. Like ice cream, there's no hint of ice, it's just cream. Well, it's just vanilla. Vanilla, <laughs> yes. Your yeah. generic flavor of all ice cream. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mel- it's like one I saw with Melton ice cream, which I think there was the one Paul had. It's like, I said to him, I bet it's going to be vanilla. How did it say? Yeah, it's just vanilla. <laughs> yeah. So, we'll, we'll no go. Shit, Sherlock. <laughs> yeah. I, I kind of want to save Coxie to last, generally because I want to like, increase his suffering. Well, see, so, there's, uh, um, since Lewis has r- unwrapped his already. I've already got mine out. Yeah, he's, he's, al- he's already unwrapped and got his rock. He's got, he's got... I've got my I'm stick glad out. You t- I'm got glad you said out. rock. I've got my uh, stick out. So, uh, where's your then? Enough. Give it a suck. He's locked, rocked, and ready to pop. Suck. <laughs> I'll rock a fucking. I'll pop up. I'm going to go suck it because I don't want to break any teeth. How was it? Alright. I've had worse. <laughs> Fair enough. What about the rock? <laughs> <laughs> Again. Again, I've had worse. <laughs> <laughs> So does it? Is it like a proper humbug style? Mm. Yeah. yeah, happy day. So. Go on then. I will. I will unveil mine. The old what? Yeah. Unveil. Unveil. It's so uh, now the colouring of Paul's is the greatest one ever. It's got a uh, almost like a caramel coating I'll, with a purple lines going. It's, out. I was gonna say it's more of a. Um, it looks rather like a veiny penis because it's uh, flesh coloured with purple lines. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> I am banning you from drinking ever again. <laughs> so uh, go and slide it in, tell how it feels. Slide it in. A bit it's tight. Slide it in. Uh, oh, soft. <laughs> it's soft. It's... Mm. But yeah, <coughs> definite blueberry there. Quite nice. Well, happy days. So I've got Very coconut soft. here, which is delightful because it's coconut, it's coconut. I'm not a massive. Well, you could have had my little. I could have done, but uh, I prefer to give it to you. So there we go. Try to get it open. It's like opening a fucking 
I would eat that, but it's soft. Man, it's hard. So, I always get to have that problem anyway. It always, have, it always ends up soft. Yours soft as well. Why is yours soft? Mine's hard. Mine just tastes nothing. I thought coconut tends to say something. Oh, hang on. Oh, mine's, mine's, long, mine's long, hard and black and white. <laughs> it's more the smell than actually the taste. Lewis has gone into rage. Yeah, it's, 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 you know like um, when women use that, that buttercream rub for the legs and that after Cocoa butter rub or whatever it is. Yeah, it's that cocoa bio oil sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, it's like a cocoa butter rub. Yeah. It actually smells like that. So I'm going to shove it underneath for uh, Pulse Moves to give a good sniff. Not the first time. Yeah, it's spot on actually. Yeah. And how's the rock taste? Smell. Mm. Yeah. Taste, there's no real taste to it. Yeah, very true. Yeah, you can you can smell the coconut. Yeah, but it's just but no it real. seems like well then you get plain aftertaste of coconut rather than like mm. the one I had the iron brew one, you couldn't taste iron brew at all, it just tasted sweet. Mm. That one you gave me, it just tasted sweet. Mm. There was no iron brew taste at all. And I've got to try this piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, get it in your gob and give it a good chop. <laughs> this is why women bite them off. <laughs> Like what? what happened? Well, you put it in my mouth, but it tastes like palm violet, so I bit it. <laughs> <laughs> Would and anyone... that officer is why I'm just coming sat here now. Like, with... Would anyone like to shed some light on what palm of Palm, palm of violet is... Uh, horrible. It's, it's horrible. It's, um, to me, personally, it tastes like what uh, perfume would be like. Right, okay. Yeah. Well, I think it's, it's broken. Yeah. It's on the table. <laughs> <laughs> but is, is it supposed to be like um, petals and all that jazz? <laughs> <laughs> it was just that like, smells strong as fuck. Fuck! Oh, God. Jesus! Oh my God! Oh! oh. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> New from Airwick. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that thing of like when I did ten minute burn. There was like there was no like thinking about it for some reason. Did it? Yeah. This one's completely. And this one, it's like I'm already regretting doing it before I even. <laughs> I just think I felt doing that extra. Jesus, muggle them, and then instant regret. Oh, is it his gob? It's actually hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's all bad. No, it's very fucking disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Good. No. <laughs> Ready to swallow. <laughs> it's like there's a part in his mouth that got an eviction notice. <laughs> it's like walking through a field of like flowers and face palming and just licking them all. <laughs> <laughs> it's like landing face flirt first and then display it into flora. <laughs> Well, it's like going into... It's like if the ladies' toilets had, like, one of them attendants on. <laughs> <laughs> and goes, do you want to try some perfume? You're like, no, I'm all right. But then you just spray some on you anyway, but you get some in your mouth. <laughs> just spray it on your, like, base. <laughs> in fact, it's like the fucking duty-free at Manchester Airport. Fucking <laughs> 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 Overpriced. Tastes like shit. <laughs> and um, very unpleasant. <laughs> so that's a uh, a one out of ten, maybe. Yeah, get to fuck out of ten. Fucking minus. <laughs> yes, I get to fuck out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> so it was like um, you know the uh, milkshake place in Hounds Hill. It's like a shop centre in Blackpool. There's a uh, little cafe underneath the stairs. Yes. Just desserts, one is it? Yeah. They actually do Palma Violet milkshakes. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> now, a little story for you here. Now, I'm going walking through with my daughter. My daughter loves Palmer Violets. You're fucking weird. I don't know where she gets that from. <laughs> <laughs> and um, she goes, oh, can we get a milkshake? So my idea was to go, go up to West Coast Milkshake Place. But no, no, she wanted to go to this place. So I was like, all right, fair enough. We'll, we'll go get a milkshake. So we're sat in there. And she goes, oh, what do you want? Oh, Palmer Violet one. I'm there going, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and like, they literally get buckets. I'm talking about buckets of Palmer Violets. Handful. Chuck it in the blender. So it goes like you, 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 like chalk almost, oh, no. and then they add it into the milk, and then they put the ice cream. Oh, you into dirty it. bastards! Don't know what stunk worse: the <laughs> idea of Palmer violets in a bucket, <laughs> or the idea of this milk coloured purple thing, and it was the most disgusting smell ever. Well, I want grim- well, Grimish from McDonald's was shit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and she was there. She, she was drinking it. Well, I thought, oh, this is lovely. Do you want to try it? And they're gone. Well, it's fucking no. rock, isn't? <laughs> no. 
<laughs> so I have to hand it to me. So I have to go, oh, oh, all right, I'll give it a sip. Has to be the most disgusting thing I've ever tried. Ever. Oh, I have some violet rock. <laughs> no, you're all right, mate. Just stir it in with the milkshake, it might improve the flavour. <laughs> Where's your bar snaps gone? They were trying some. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking horrible. Fact, but... uh, we've got Ali in the corner here. Would you like to come and try some rock? Come on. Oh, she's coming yeah, over. It's oh, violet okay. flavour. Ali is one of the uh, bar staff that we've taken on this year. Um, she's a lovely girl. All the way from Scotland. So, um, here we've got some Palmer Violet Rock. And the Give it a good sniff first. You disgust me. <laughs> it also means you're fired. Get out. <laughs> Alan doesn't have the authority to do that. It's true. <laughs> I just tell him what to get the fuck out. I would bite it. Give me a good... Yeah. She's biting. That's why I broke my teeth. <laughs> I stripped it as empty slice. <laughs> Alright, suck it hard. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. That was a, that was teeth breaking, not rock breaking. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What do you think? It's not as good as Palmer Violet. <laughs> <laughs> but in your in your guess, it's it's edible for you, isn't it? Not really. Can I taste like soap? <laughs> there we go. Then. <laughs> well, that nothing. Soap your nan would have <laughs> <laughs> from ten years ago. Yeah. At Christmas. It's actually like those like little. Sweets that actually smell and taste like soap. Yeah, we've tried. Palmer Violets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the worst ones was the cherry lipsticks. Do you remember me scared yeah. the penny sweets? And um, I remember growing up and they've been absolutely brilliant. And for a stage, I think it was the late 90s, for some reason they went all perfumey and horrible. Yeah, so right. I'm there going, oh yeah, yeah, I'll get some uh, red lips. And so I'm going to go with the pick and mix. And they're going, Chopping my gob, thinking the normal. No, my gob. Gagging on it, they've gone right and jumped past me a coke. <laughs> they made it worse. So I was there sat for the New cinema. coke! <laughs> I was sat there for the cinema going, ah, <laughs> ready to throw up. Thank you very much, Ali. Much appreciated. Right. Thank you. Hello. So, oh, yeah, yeah, so th- I think that was a, a, a raging success. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, let's never do that again. Yes. Flies. <laughs> I'm gonna find something just as well, bad for you. Even your black and white thing. Next week, next week, Marmite flavoured. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck right off. <laughs> to be honest, you probably prefer that than the part of the violence he's just had. I'd oh. rather eat Marmite cereal. <laughs> oh. What is with that? Where, where, where did you see this Marmite cereal from? Probably on Facebook somewhere. Wow. <laughs> Fucking hell, no way. Anyone got any topics? I've got, well, we had some. Um, on Facebook, I, I put a status up earlier today asking for more questions. It was actually, a, you know, it was a relative relative success last week. And Darren gave you a thumbs up. Darren gave me a thumbs up. So yeah, you know that's you know you know you've made it. That, um, that's the, the Facebook equivalent of yeah. Love yeah, you, Darren. Love you, Darren. <laughs> do, 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 do you reckon? Yeah, all right, you, all right, you know, with Facebook recently, you can actually put gifts on, um, on like your comments, no stuff like. That. Do you reckon he's going to sit there and go? Go find a gift with yeah on it, and then that'll be it. That's all you reply is that like a gift. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I did find one with more on on it, so yeah, that's that's it. That's it. <laughs> um, but yeah, Alan Rideout, um, he was the only one that responded, but he left us four <laughs> questions. Okay, okay. so the first one they're all wrestling related. Okay, um, so the first one is if Randy Orton does an RKO in the woods, is it still out of nowhere? <laughs> That's really good, that. I like that. <laughs> that is oh, fuck off. <laughs> so essentially, if Randy Orton RKO's in the woods and no one else is around to be RKO'd, <laughs> yeah. is it still out of nowhere? <laughs> that is brilliant. That cycle was like. Well, no. It's very philosophical. That word. Philosophical. There you go. Thank Christ. How we going to answer that? Dot dot dot. Dive. Yeah. (laughs) That's the answer to it. No. Dot dot dot. Yeah. Well, to be honest, if (laughs) if he's doing an RKO on no one, then it's it's not. It's not. Yeah. (laughs) It's a back (laughs) (laughs) one. Randy Orton's training is he goes out into the forest and does random RKOs. 
don't know if it's a squirrel, <laughs> uh, a branch, a twig, a bear. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think it goes up for the arcade on the bed? It comes up here, it comes up to the bed. Call me a Bambi. Just <laughs> it to That's how Bambi dies in the movie. You know, you know, he Bambi always a bear. Got a cameo. You know what Arkeo Arke- is about when he comes out riding a bear at what, some that B pay per view or something? <laughs> just to try and get more more viewers. Look at me and riding a bear. <laughs> <laughs> Murica. <laughs> the catchiest chat doesn't wrestle anymore. Look, Murica. 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 <laughs> he also asks, um, has Brock Lesnar defended his title on Mars yet? Hey. Hey? Universal title, I'm assuming. Oh. Um. Oh, no, because he only takes the Super Hot Tea. Whee! <laughs> so, what Michael calling this? Vintage. Yes, vintage. Vintage. That's it. Well, he, he only has a set of appearances, so unfortunately, I don't think he can appear on Mars, so. Well, his, his wage demands are just sort of like that astronomical that. Even they can't afford the trip to Mars. Well, if he took a pay cut, they might have been able to pay for the trip, but unfortunately, well, because of his contract, they can't yeah. pay for the There's trip some, to Mars. So. Some guy in NASA there pissing himself, going, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we can do this. We can do this, NASA. Come on, no. no so the on. thing is, right, you pull Haven when he says Brock Lesnar, can you hear it in space? <laughs> <laughs> Brock Lesnar! <laughs> they do it properly. It's not. It's like he, he went on a whole thing of tangent of this. So I said, "No, because my client Brock Lesnar is like Brock Lesnar." <laughs> <laughs> so uh, to answer that question, no, because it's not in the budget. <laughs> um, he also has a bit more local. This one: Ashton Smith versus Dean Mark for the Victor PCW Cruiserweight Championship. Who wins and why? Dean Ormark uh, turns up and basically goes, Look, I've got a Butlins title and wins. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that, that, to a T. <laughs> <Pretty good. laughs> um, Quite surprised it came out of that, actually. <laughs> I'm going to skip Nash later with, with my intercontinental belt and I'm going to dab. <laughs> yeah. Oh Damn my way. god! Um, who are we it's saying? Some, well, just to go, uh, yeah, I, I don't like either of them as a problem. Mm. But at the academy show, they sort of had Ashton go a bit heelish. Mm. Um, so whether they're sort of going to do like an Ashton push as a heel, it seems like. I mean, L- I, Lewis can't say anything here because he's like part of the. the the, the cream of the crop. So I am uh, I'm legally bound to actually say anything. So I'm <laughs> there you go. Conversation. Um, so what are you saying then? <laughs> <laughs> so what are you saying then, Dave? <laughs> I'll tell you off the record. <laughs> uh, for me, I think it's going to be it, it's going to be Ashton Smith because he's on a run. He's on a, they're pushing him. So I've already given my answer. Yeah. So <laughs> and that's why as well because he's on a, he, he's been pushed. Basically, so and I can't see Dean or Mark. You know, yeah, I can't see it. Um, so move that leads on nicely into our next one that he leads us. Is and the last one is is Dean or Mark the most underrated wrestler on the UK scene today? Oh, he's most shittest. No. no, not at all. Um, is, is, it, is this Alan bloke actually? No, no relation to go. Is this Alan yes, bloke? No, it's, no, because relations have to be sort of like you have to have the same surname. Yeah, not the first name, mate. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, bad. Uh, uh, no, no, I live in Southport. I couldn't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> but no, he, 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 he's dire. He's just not an entertaining wrestler. All right, he's all right for the kids because. To me, he he reminds us the sort of like wrestler you like. You go to like Benidorm, you see like an American wrestling super yes. show, main event, like. Dean Allmark, superstar Dean Allmark against some like the fake, fake, fake cane or something, <laughs> and of course he come out with like his fake in the continental belt, which meant to be like the Mega Slam belt. Yeah, and he course all the kids love him and stuff, and it's like, oh, fuck off. You see him in the compound next to you, like getting getting a bloody orange juice for his kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's one of these guys. Is, he's he's one of these guys that rocks up. Uh, he's got a fag hanging out his gob. He absolutely hates kids. He drives around in a battered up Nissan Sunny. 
<laughs> See, I think the opposite. He's a grumpy old man. He's, you know, like bad Santa sort of style. And he gets to the ring and all of a sudden he just goes, I'm nice and happy. <laughs> Don't really want to kill <laughs> Face a couple of lines of coke. He's dropped a couple of... Uh, 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 no, fucking face, face plants. Eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is it, you ever seen that you, uh, the, uh, Facebook video? Uh, the guy sitting, sitting in the back of his um, car. And he's, 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 he's there, he's got, it must be a gram of coke or something. And he's going, that. <laughs> and all the guys around them taking the piss out of him because he's just face, he's covered, <laughs> his head's covered. And he's just like, I throw it in his face because <laughs> he's off his tit. And he was like, wow. That's how I expect Dean Ambrose, uh, Ambro- <laughs> Dean Ambrose, Dean Omar to be. I see him being the opposite of like, it's going to be that guy like, you got like an all inclusive at Benidorm for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> Which isn't really all inclusive, and he's there in like the, the room next to you or something. He's like, look, it's that wrestler. You're that wrestler off the show. <laughs> we saw you. And like, right, okay, yeah. I watched you in past two months. Just once. Not <laughs> <laughs> <But> your shit. <laughs> I can understand all your guys hate for a Dean Allmark. Like, I could understand if it was like Dave Rain or something like that. But well, you're in the business. Oh, You've got see, inside I like knowledge. Dave Rain, but not as the wrestler. He's actually a really good guy. Mm. I mean, for me, I, I, in ring, in ring, he's he's decent. He's decent. He's he's one of those for me though. He goes through the motions too much. Yeah, yeah, I'll agree with that. He goes through the motions. He's decent. But you tickle the balls out, what's the matter? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> tickle the man manager's balls. Tickle the balls while you work the shaft. Yeah. Better than at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Just remember the rules of the roll and you'll be fine. <laughs> it's his, that, he is go, he's good in the ring, it's his gimmick that I can't stand. Yeah. It's basically somebody's fat dad. <laughs> he, yeah. he, he look, Who he, can do a flip? He can do a flip. I can do flips. He, that's the thing he is, he's, if you send them pictures, look, the videos on Facebook, he's basically that. You know, the, the, there's, there's a guy that's got a daughter who does like gymnastics, he tries yeah. to copy. He's the gymnast dad. Yeah, but at the same time, uh, he's like attempt after attempt after attempt after yeah. attempt, and he just nails it. It's like one time he just fucking nails the whole entire thing, and his daughter was like happy. He does, but the Dean Omar's like if he's probably what nearing well, nearing his forties, possibly. I don't really? know how. I think oh. he's I think he's about the same age as me. I was gonna say I, I think he's about the same age as us. He looks older. He's about 34, 35. Yeah, he's, he's not the same age. He's mid-30s. Yes, he does look older. He looks like he's 50s. That's why I said he's someone's fat dad. So, but you've, you've got like Ashton Smith and Ashton Smith, I think he's early, mid-20s. Ashton Smith, the um, problem with Ashton Smith, I just want to punch him because he has that face. There's that. Mm. And you've got Opera Mania running wild. Mm. It's like the day, he, Mania, wild. Baby. The day he makes any form of like major promotions, i.e. Like if it's ROH or WWE or fucking impact wrestling whatever you want to call it these days and if he ever gets on that shit. yeah pretty much if he get, ever gets on that I'm just going to seriously just, just go like, like stone wrestling completely because I, I don't think he's a good uh, fighter a good wrestler what about your mark your off Romania whereas he'll watch it, 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 oh yeah Ashton. he's perfectly oh. fine with Jinder Mahal being number one contender for the WWE title but as soon as like Ashton Smith or Dean Allmark get anywhere <laughs> right done with it <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, What's that? Support indie wrestling? No, fuck him. He's <laughs> <laughs> just, I just, I just don't like him. I don't like either of them. It's like, I met him at uh, Alpha Omega, and I was just there going, well, you're just a twat, aren't you? He just really was. He just came over so arrogant, so up his own fucking arse. It's like, no, bad enough for you, go away. Go, just, just leave me alone. Go, bugger off. Ashton. Yeah. I can't say I've met him, so... Can't really comment on that aspect. I know he's decent in the ring. He can pull off a decent match. I mean, um, who did, was it Speedball Mike Bailey had a match with? Well, it was on the uh, main issue. Yeah, was that it? was fucking phenomenal. But yeah, um, he's all right. I, I quite like. I'll be honest with you. I like him in the ring. I don't know him personally, so I can't really comment personally. But yeah, he's decent. What they're saying in the ring. So mm-hmm. yeah, that's for Dean Allmark. Yeah, he's decent in the ring. Just his gimmick's fucking terrible. <laughs> I think he's just a filler now. The, the, the day he lost me is when he wore um, shorts that had Red Bull Sugar Free on them. Wow. <laughs> I am not joking. Oh, that's um, so special. That's the day he lost, he lost me. Uh, we've got one more question. This was from, on the post for the last podcast. 
but he posted too late for recording. Uh, it's one of my old friends, Richard Murphy, and he asks, DuckTales or Goof Troop? Which is the best and why? DuckTales. Woohoo. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I said, I said to him, yeah, I said to him, because he asked, he said, I've got a week to think about it, so I can have some much... You know, deep thought about it and give you a really, really detailed answer. But unfortunately, no. DuckTales, bean tune, end of discussion. That is simply it. <laughs> I don't even remember the Goof Troop. I don't. Goof Troop was terrible. It was like, like father, like son, always something, something. I'll find something. it. <laughs> Shit. I'll find, I'll just go, I'll have to I find think I remember seeing it briefly on that. Like... It was on the Disney Club, very briefly. No, the, no, no. It, it was, was on before ITV that, it was on well. ITV back yeah. in like. Because it used to be in the morning, Saturday morning, it used to be uh, DuckTales, then you have the Gummy Bears, and then you Here's have the Goof Troop theme tune. There It's dire. Yeah. Can I honestly say that I remember that? You can't. Mm-hmm. See, now See, that, that was like that was like early to mid nineties. Yeah, it. I don't say I remember it now. I've obviously I put the theme tune on. And it rings. You know, it obviously whereas, rings a bell. Whereas obviously you got this classic. I suppose. The hurricane and now that'll be embedded into your brain for the next two weeks because it's impossible to get rid of it. You'll just be walking down the street and all of a sudden you'll just hear Woohoo! 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 that that's yeah, that'll that'll just randomly appear in the most inappropriate times. Yeah. You could be doing a speech at a funeral and all of a sudden all you hear is duck tails. Woo! <laughs> Back in the old day, out on the tash, Lynn or Rob always end up at the last song of the night, either be Gummy Bears or um, Fraggle Rock. Fraggle Rock. <laughs> well, I was, I was there for the last night at the old tash. So was I. And, uh, of course, they finished on the Fraggle Rock theme. Good theme. And then everyone was like, one more, more, more song. So, yeah. And Ron did his little speech, and he's like, "Oh, we've got one more song, which is Ron's choice." And I had noticed all night this, like, they haven't played Enter Sandman fucking once, yeah. upstairs or down. So I was like, "There's something going on here." And of course, they finished on Enter Sandman, mm. and it's like, "It's some chalk right on the wall." Like, why? They're just gonna knock it down. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. I think it scribbled all over the place. I scribbled all over the DJ box. Then Ling goes, you do that any of my get vinyls, I'll kill you. Yeah, <laughs> CD boxes. And I went, oh, okay. At this point, I was absolutely hammered. I did drink a full bottle of JD to myself before I came out. <laughs> I think I spent a grand total of £3.50 in the task that night. Good guy, I did. Mm. <laughs> you could get to the bar for a start. Well, it wasn't so much that. It was, what have you got? Well, just tell me what you want and I'll tell you if you got it or not. <laughs> Pint of lager? Uh, yeah, we can do that. <laughs> um, can you do us a Jack and we can't do Coke? We've got lemonade or nothing. <laughs> I'll have a Jack Daniels then. <laughs> <laughs> Best make it a double. <laughs> I was hammered that night. I was rotten the night after, the day after. But yeah, it was, it was a good night that. It was. It was a very, very good night. Because it Saturday. started Thursday. The last night was Saturday night. So it started Thursday. And I was out every night for it. And uh, <clears throat> Lynn turned around and says, oh, you, you come in. I was like, yeah, I've got a ticket for Saturday night. Oh, I'll get you in free for, for Thursday and Friday as well. Because <laughs> you've got a ticket. So, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just come with me in the, mo- uh, the first thing. We literally rocked up. There was already a queue outside. I go, what the fuck? I, I, I remember I turned up at, I think I went down like a month, the Monday before or something. Yeah. And it's like, they went, oh, yeah, knock on the door. Must someone let you in. So I walked in the lights one, I was like, this is fucking weird. I can see the walls. <laughs> I can see people. I can see the floor I'm sticking to. Yeah. <laughs> well, I used to be the used to be the cleaner there. Uh, 2006, uh, Chris Carlton, uh, uh, Charlton, mm, big yeah, Chris, yeah. Um, went on holiday. And he usually did the cleaning in the morning. So um, Chris asked me to do the cleaning. And uh, I tell you what, it's the most weirdest thing walking in there. And like, like, wow, I can see shit. 
Oh shit, I ain't cleaning that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Good times. Yeah. But yeah, DuckTales wins. Woohoo! <laughs> 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 oh, 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 fucking hell. Um, anyone else got any topics? The fuck up that is the president, uh, the, uh, the US presidency. <laughs> ah, that's getting great. That. That, that's coming because it's comical. Yeah, ah, so completely lost track. Of apparently, that. one of the um, was it ambassadors has admitted that he that. has had contact with the Russian uh, embassy about the presidency and the leading up to the uh, election. It's like one of the heads, uh, heads, heads of the FBI. FBI or no, 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 it's head the FBI. The head of the FBI got sacked because he was looking into the whole thing. So the whole FBI and CIA went, whoa, hang on a minute, we employ an old director because he was out of it and nothing to do with the whole shenanigans uh, to do the investigations. At this point, a whole lot of other people gone, yeah, we spoke to the Russians on behalf of Trump and all that. Trump's gone, well, meh, I want it fair and square. And um, there was rumours on it that someone's already put in a, an official... What's it called? Impeachment. Impe- impeachment uh, to uh, get Trump out. Yeah. So that's in now being I've, investigated. Yeah, I've heard about that, so yeah. it was like, wow, less than 200 <laughs> days and you're getting fucked over already. Go America! <laughs> <laughs> Always makes me laugh, sort of like the comments that he's come out with. He's just like, this is the this is the worst treatment that any politician has had in history. And I just think, well, JFK, Lincoln, <laughs> Gandhi, so, Nixon, um, <laughs> Nixon, 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 well, Mandela, <laughs> back and to the left, back, back and to, to the, the left. left. <laughs> Not only that, it's, it's, like, it's, like, it's like when George Bush was in. It's like the real question we have to answer is: Is our children learned? <laughs> Sounds like Darren. <laughs> it's like when people are giving directions. As soon as you get to this junction, turn right. That's your left. Yeah, yeah. yeah whatever. Shut <laughs> the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I did that earlier on today with uh, Lewis. It's <laughs> mm. But yeah, it was just... <laughs> I wasn't even fucking referencing you. I was just saying. Yeah, yeah, what's, yeah. what's the other one? What's the other one? He goes, uh, George Bush. He's like, oh yeah, you fool, fool me once. Uh, shame on you. No, shame, shame on me even fool me twice shame on me <laughs> fool me again he goes can't get fooled again <laughs> <laughs> Pre- pretty sure you can <laughs> but it, it, it's, it literally is this whole presidency, uh, presidential thing is just turning into one big massive fuck up the only reason the oh, Trump's yeah. in there because the Russians want him in there so they can fuck up the economy and he's doing a great job for it yep yeah, pretty mm-hmm. much Putin's sitting there going, <laughs> stroking his imaginary yes. evil beard. <laughs> <laughs> that was got the white cat on his lap, just like, good. Yes, <laughs> Mr. Trump, of course I want you to no, fuck up. <laughs> up. <laughs> now, the only thing that comes to mind is that it used to be a Twitter account called Cranky Vince. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> and sometimes it would say some things like, sort of like satin, satin gorilla. Watch, watching such a match stroking giant direction it's going to be big capitalised fuck you <laughs> <laughs> I thought, uh, it's, it's just like this whole shenanigans at the moment with uh, our elections coming up the general election that's getting beyond stupid as well yeah we've got a teacher against William Thatcher, Thatcher V2 mm. <laughs> yeah it's like it's always stuck a picture of like 10 years um uh, 2007 the, Theresa May, I guess. 2017, 2017 Theresa, Theresa May, on crack. Yeah. <laughs> and it was just like, wow, look at the difference. Like, ten years ago, that to you? Well, I'm still aging. Ten, ten, years ago, I still, <laughs> ten years ago, I still look the fucking same. Because you're young, that's the difference. When you start deteriorating. <laughs> yeah, but too bad. You didn't have a beard ten years ago, probably. Well, Unless you had a full on fucking. Hillbilly. Yeah. It's <laughs> yeah, easy top. <laughs> With the hat and everything. The thing is with these like general elections coming up, I think it summed up best of um, the thoughts that Manang gave because there was a she was um, a couple of days ago she had a conservative representative knock on the door. She's just like um, she was going, "Can I ask how you're voting?" And uh, Manang turned around basically and said, "I'm voting for none of you." 
And she went, right, okay, well, why is that? It's just like, because I don't fucking trust anything that any of you say. And they don't, because that's no. all politics is. <laughs> They'll bullshit any way they want just to get into fucking it's power. Not, it's... They'll do fuck all and build up the pension and then just live on that when they... Yeah. Well, it's all, it's, it's all he's got yeah. the most believable bollocks, basically, isn't it? Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? No, it's just, uh, there was um, a short video knocking around, and basically he goes, uh, 85% of all uh, UK population will not vote. 15%, so that, was it, yeah, 15, yeah, 15% that will vote is um, the over 65s. Now, the over 65s that will vote are um, rich mm. uh, one with a silver spoon up their asses, and will vote for Tory yep and that's how they get around it that's why Tory's all sitting there going fuck you won this because no fucker else votes yeah this is, this, is, this is why they've done a snap election so she can get more MPs back in her that's the only reason why she's done it well, it's, it's a weird one real election it doesn't help with social media nowadays Mm. Uh, back in back way back when when back in the day <laughs> back in the day <laughs> when you could, when you could buy a pint for one pound twenty and get a change without discount without <laughs> discount <laughs> you got smoke indoors <laughs> yeah you bring your son and you put him in the back and you can have a, a pack of sea brooks and a pack <laughs> of <laughs> pack. an half a lager <laughs> <laughs> you can have half a lager and some ready salted sea brook. I play bingo. Back in my day, there were no, no, uh, no, 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 what was it? There was a documentary about like social media and the, uh, the bullshittery that came with the whole U.S. presidential elections, and um, someone accused uh, Facebook and Twitter of being paid to spread the bullshittery along. Mm. Um, they reckoned uh, Trump basically, well, all the Trump's peers went right to Facebook and. Uh, Twitter and goes right here's a couple million spread some bullshit about um, what's her name Clinton Hillary Clinton Cunt you mean yeah <laughs> uh, and uh, spread the whole bullshit along and um, it was like we were looking at investigations and they turned around a guy was uh, interview with uh, um, a face, uh, Facebook representative from the UK and he was saying like did you guys get paid to do this and he avoided the question like fucking r- like someone worrying well, at your rabies. The, f- the thing d- is, though, it's like the amount of pages you might have liked when you're in college. That you sat there on Facebook, you have no fuck else to do. And your teacher says to you, "Yeah, you've got like they've turned Facebook off on the block list for two weeks, so you can go on Facebook and fuck about." And yeah, it's liking random pages. And all of a sudden, you'll see a page a few years later pop up going, "I don't remember liking that." <laughs> <laughs> and I think the same thing will probably happen with that like, Trump stuff. And then people that will boost the post going, well, how much in the budget? Right, this well, this is a social media budget. Go on Twitter, go on Facebook, wherever else, and just p- post political bullshit and then boost it. Well, that was the problem with um, Trump, because he's so active on social media. Look at his Twitter account. Well, yeah, when he has two people, he has himself running it and his staff running it as well. Yeah. And they took, they took, they took his phone off him yeah. <laughs> oh, no. before the election. Yeah, no, no, they took his phone off him says, you're not allowed to say anything for the... Uh, yeah, it, 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 was, it, was, it was two weeks, wasn't it? For two yeah, weeks. you're not allowed on Twitter for two weeks. Yeah, it was a bastard for putting his foot in his own mouth, though, wasn't yeah. it? So. But he did it again this morning. Um, yeah. Well, again, it's the, the real question is, is, the, is our children thing. learned? <laughs> and they're evidently, they are not. <laughs> well, it, it, it's turned into a massive uh, fuckfest with this whole social media. It's... It's doing more harm than it is good. All oh, right, you, you can get out to more people. Uh, you know your policies, your um, your podcasts. Yeah, your, your podcasts. <laughs> you know your, your manifestos. I'm talking about the politi- yeah, uh, yeah, politics uh, side of things, <laughs> and it's just like, well, that's just fucking shit. So yeah. it's just like, 
what can you do? You can't rely on papers because they'll write half a ton of shit and, and not say any, you know, saying what you said. <coughs> Fail. Sorry, what? Yeah, son. Um, <laughs> you can't go on the fucking news because you've got like Jeremy Paxley on there just fucking twisting everything. Yeah. Uh, I fucking love it. Absolutely. <laughs> Some of the shit he comes out with is brilliant. Um, but how else are you going to get your shit out there? You can't go on radio because, like, the same again, they're owned by fucking half the media companies that run the fucking TVs. In the newspapers. You can't run your fucking Twitter account because uh, either some guy will just stop trolling you and you get upset and cry and uh, get him shot. <laughs> <laughs> or poisoned. Fucking harsh. Yeah, so it's just, it just seems to be bullshit at the moment. So it's like, how, how are you meant to vote fairly? Yeah, exactly. You can't. It's, you physically cannot. I think the only real fair way of doing it is that you get a dartboard, you separate it equally and just fucking blindfold yourself and throw a dartboard, dart at the well, dartboard and hope you don't hit your it's, cat. It's like the problem I said, though. Unless you're aiming for the Oh, yeah, and the bloke on the side of the head. Just going, <laughs> yeah. The thing I said, though, is like... With no NHS. At the oh, end of the day, it's, gonna, it's, gonna, it's <laughs> yeah, always going to come it. down... Unless something drastically changes, it's going to come down to two parties in. It's in the UK, it's going to be two parties, like it is in America. Yep. You've got Democrats and Republicans, and you've got Labour and Conservatives. Yeah, practically that's all it's that now. Be. Realistically, it's that now. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, but that's what it's going to uh, Liberal Democrats aren't going to get in any headway because everyone just doesn't take them serious. No. Mm. Even they come up with the most perfect fucking... Um, manifesto and be like this is what we're going to do this is how we're going to do it this is the money we've got to do this and we're proven to do it and then everyone will just ignore it that's the problem though because if they do come up, even come up with a perfect manifesto the perfect film then people will go pfft the Lib Dem's not going to pull it off yeah so, you know what I mean so you can't they, they, they're fucked either way like that's fucking Nick Clegg look at it was just a waste of space yeah. so it's just like <laughs> Well, I still go back to that when Russell Howard, I think, like the most <laughs> yeah, yeah. one 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 seat or whatever in in the house, the houses, yeah. house of parliament, whatever he is. Yeah, <laughs> who wants a space hopper? Like, <laughs> you got one seat. It's like, yeah, but nothing. <laughs> I think it, I think it was another thing. I like Russell Howard is just like um, instead of like people in like the televised debate just get like kids to ask him and just be like yeah. cleggy weggy I can close my eyes I can close my eyes why can't I close my ears <laughs> yeah. exactly it's like um, oh what's that cockney called the um, guy with the hair he's got a TV series at the moment mm. on that's a lot of cockneys no no he's a cockney he's, he's, he's a comedian oh uh, it's called a fully cockney. Yeah, I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> and he's, he was basically um, doing uh, shows like Life in general. Mm. So it's like um, bits of says The last episode he uh, just done was the offence. He was going around to, you know, what, what do people find offensive? What do people um, think uh, is PC too much now and all that jazz? And he had literally a table of about 12 people, six under 30s, Six over sixty. To watch this and I fucking missed it. I know yeah. exactly. Yeah, you I know, know exactly. I can't remember the I can't remember the, come with the comedian's called. It's supposed to be fucking brilliant. Yeah, and it was going right. What offends you? On what offends you? This old guy sitting there goes, "Fat people." And he was like, "Well, why?" And he goes, "Fat people fucking offend me." <coughs> and he goes, well, "How do you mean by that?" It's just that guy may be comfortable they're wearing. You know, it's a disgrace. Look at you know. I don't want to see that thought, thought sort of thing walking down the street. Uh, and I was like, wow. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. And well, shock horror. People uh, are cunts. Yeah. <laughs> and um, <laughs> it turned around and, and another guy says, I don't want to see breastfeeding in a public place. I'm like, well, why? The baby needs to feed. Go to the toilets to it. All right, I'll bring you a meal out and you can eat in the toilet. I don't want to do that. Same thing for a baby. Yeah. Goes, but no, I find it offensive that that person sitting there got her breast out. To this point, the, co- the comedian turned around and went, you're dissing that you're seeing not, not seeing tits. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's all tits. He goes, mate, something's fucking wrong with you. <laughs> and he turned around, and the gay guy turned around, I'm fucking gay, and I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. And then he got on to uh, politics and, uh, and all that jazz. Uh, it's a guy over in America who runs his own internet radio show, mm. and apparently he was voted the most offensive man in the whole of the US. So Donald Trump comes along and all this jazz, you know, with all presidential elections. And, and goes, I want to take that fucking record. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, no, no, and he was sitting there and, and he spent <laughs> three days straight on the radio ranting how much of a twat 
than uh, Donald Trump was. Right? Donald Trump won, won the election. Apparently he had the CIA, the FBI, and another um, like intelligence group knocking on his door and going like, can ATF you come with, really yeah, can you come with us please? So this, uh, yeah, tried to get him done for slander. <laughs> to this point it goes, uh, look at the constitution. Uh, the, the, the constitution. 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 Yeah, yeah. He goes. He was like the fourth one down. Uh, free, uh, free will to speak. Uh, your mind. Free, 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 free to speak. Speak. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he turned around and he goes, "Can't do shit, mate." Mm-hmm. And he turned and he got, had to let him go. Donald Trump apparently was fuming. He fucking started bouncing around and he goes, "Ah, you may be in charge of a fucking country, but you've got to abide by the rules as well." Yeah. So yeah. that case proven. Someone can't get their own way. Well, mm. it's like the. Jim Jeffries, the Australian comedian, went on a full rant about guns, about gun control in America and stuff. And it's like, oh, it's my, it's my right as an American citizen and stuff. And you're like, you can't, you can't change the amendments and stuff. Like, it's, it's the Constitution. He's like, well, yes, you can. <laughs> it's an amendment. <laughs> 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 it's there to be changed. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. You know, you think of it that way. Yeah. Amendment, yeah. yeah. Fucking hell. Uh, Mickey Flanagan. Nicky Flanagan. That's the guy. The name was in my head then. I didn't yeah. want to say it because that's what I and was wrong. It was like, because he's now at that age where it's like, you know, what's offensive, what's not offensive, what can I get away with? And his all his online, uh, it's like a, when he's live performances, he is your Jack the Lad. Takes the piss out of everything. But he was quite being serious. He was actually, you know, he's, um, when the uh, 7-Eleven, bo- uh, 7-Eleven. 9-11. No, no, the British one. Oh, seven, seven. Seven, seven bombings happened. He was there going, do I make a joke about it? You know, there's a lot of people come out and everyone's kind of still edgy about it and stuff like that because it was the night after. And uh, some guy goes, well, aren't you fucking glad you didn't put a couple, uh, uh, buy a month's uh, Oyster card, didn't you? <laughs> Especially with all that shit happening. And, and, and he was just saying, sitting there going, like, fuck, someone else said that, not me. <laughs> 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 so it was like... You know, where can you stand without fucking being prosecuted or for slandered for saying you what, what you think? It's, wow. it's got to a point now it's stupid. Trump just overthinks it and gets fucked anyway. Yeah. Uh, fucking Theresa May opens a gob and shit comes out. Jer- uh, Jeremy Corbyn just sits there and goes like, yeah. <laughs> Don't want nuclear missiles. Well, how are you going to defend yourself then, fuck mm-hmm. face? Oh, I don't think of Here, that. Here's a map of New Guinea. <laughs> <laughs> And then, and then you get like uh, it's not Nick Clegg anymore for uh, oh, uh, uh, Nigel Fallon Ma- Nigel Fall- Fallon Fallon I don't sounds like a phallus you're looking at me I don't pay attention to that shit uh, <laughs> your brother's a politician I and he sits there and he sits there going da, 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 da. No, well, shut the fuck up <laughs> <laughs> Theresa May and fucking Jeremy Corbyn are arguing I'm going to look him up now give me, just give me a sec Lib Dem leader and fucking UKIP leader he, they just seem to be not saying anything. Well, they're just fucking. Fascist. Oh, sorry, not Nigel. Tim Farron. Tim Farron. They're just fucking Close fascist bigots. bigots. They're fucking evil. They're, they're funny. Kid. I find them fucking hilarious. I, I, I genuinely what love is... to... No, I, 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 I'm, I'm going to open say this. I'd Go let them win general election. Well, they fucking wouldn't. No, no. The reason why. They'll win and they'll go. What the fuck do we do? <laughs> and you could just watch them tumble down, and then you have someone like the uh, Labour or uh, fucking uh, Tories walking and going, "Right, we'll sort this shit out." <laughs> so, <laughs> the same thing happened to the Green Party. If they won, they get in and go. What plant trees everywhere. <laughs> yeah. What do we do now? We need to plant more trees. Um, well, the economy's falling. We're, more we're, trees. We've <laughs> blown our NHS budget on trees. Wind farming. Um, fuck. Um, Hey, Arteries, sort this shit out. We're gone. Bye. Exactly. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Our hospitals are running out of power. Well, we just closed all the nuclear power stations down, replaced it with solar wi- solar panels. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you always fight? Like, speaking of like and like white like white supremacy groups. Don't you always find it with find it funny with these white supremacy groups? They're uh, you know they're against immigration. You know they're proud to be white. What's the first thing they do when they're going out rioting? Put on ski, ski masks. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Unless you look at the Westboro Baptist Church. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Case proven. We're against burkers. You fucking look like a Muslim, you tit. <laughs> Still makes me giggle when he goes, you know, white supremacy and all that. Because then he goes, yeah, you know, genet- uh, genetically, you're the uh, inferior race. 
Like, someone who was talking to her was the other day with someone. He goes, technically, you're genetically the inferior race. He goes, why is that? He goes, um, first people on this, on this earth. Yeah, what colour skin were they? White. <laughs> They're black. He says, you moved, uh, as the population grew, people moved away onto different co- uh, continents, uh, different seasons, skin pigmentation and all that jazz. Says they're the purest, purest uh, black people, the purest, the purest of human form. Yeah. And he says, uh, you cannot take that away from him. And it, she was there going, well, what do I mean by that? Well, hey, I, I don't understand this. He goes, nothing to understand. So you've got to think of it like that. They're the pure. Says every person who's gone head hunting for them, got their heads up their own fucking arses, thinking they're better than someone. And all you Africans are sitting there going, don't give a shit, it's time to party. <laughs> <laughs> I always find it funny. Fucking rap music. Like, <laughs> I always find it funny when they come back off holiday and they're still like, white supremacy. It's just like, you look like a half my Gandhi. Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> still think the funniest thing I ever saw, when we we'll, we'll mates over in America, kind of black as they come, and he's just, he's just come back from holiday in the Grand Canaria. And uh, he's just saying, I've got a fucking tan here. So I'm there going, do I say something here? Do I? Do I? I don't know. Luckily, one of the other black people turned around and said, Mate, you're a fucking nigger. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, because you, do, you don't get tabbed for shit. And I'm sat there going, oh, I'm so glad someone else written that. Because <laughs> I'm just sat there. It was just, he's one of these guys that's quite good. He, he doesn't mind using the N word, but for the right reasons, not for the, the yeah. obvious ones. Mm. And he can joke about on it, but he he's all for the black people sort of thing, sort of style. So how we're, how we're friends, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, it, it, it's it's just he just come back and he, and he said he's got I've got a tan and like how <laughs> that's physically impossible with you <laughs> <laughs> and it's just this this, this the I was sort of expecting a reaction from you going but wait wait you 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 black <laughs> <laughs> I, I was I was on the verge of literally going oh, do I say something do I say something uh, and then the other person don't know I went. Woo! <laughs> that's took a lot of weight off my shoulders. I can come in, mate, you're a black of space. And he goes, oh, that's a bit racist. He goes, no, it's not. It's true. He goes, oh, I'll let you off that. Good. Back pedaling. But no, it's, it's, it's Trump and the whole Mexican thing as well. That pisses me off. We're going to build gonna, a wall. We're still waiting. <laughs> we're going to build a wall. Yeah, who's going to make? Who's going to build it? Well, um... um we're going to make the Mexicans pay for it, uh, and he basically told you to fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Mex- we're, Mexicans will do it. Come on, Mexicans. We're going to ask you know all you your want. brothers the Mexicans to help us build it. Really? <laughs> the they best one ever is as soon as he announced that, the Canadians going, we fancy a wall. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea, eh? <laughs> hey, uh, going to build a wall now? <laughs> Let's think about we'll how we're going to do this. <laughs> okay. Canada, Canada's okay. just like, I tell you what, America, will do it for you for free. Yeah. <laughs> that was the best bit. It was just like, as in, uh, some American comedian popped up, goes, well, if Canadians, Canada, if Canada's <laughs> going to build a wall and all this shit, that, how right. are they going to do the Great Lakes? And so just, uh, some Canadian uh, comedian talked in and goes, that's fucking easy. We just build the wall bigger than the fucking lake, you dick. <laughs> <laughs> We're not stupid. <laughs> Says the person wearing a fucking raccoon hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, my God. Any other topics? I think that probably do, I reckon, for, t- for this week. I think we can start wrapping up. Yeah. Happy yeah. Days We've been sure. going for, what, nearly two hours. Yeah. So yeah. It's been a good one. Yeah, it's been yeah. an absolute cracker. So, it's blown by. Yeah, so... I mean, I've got I just, I just all the political bullshit now. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I get a night off of editing. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> massive thanks to uh, well, the well, reflex. to you, and then you you edit it. So I've got to do my end. And yeah, you do your end. I've got to do my end. Yeah, I will upload it. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. So it's a massive thank you to Reflex and Relfax. 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 Fuck's sake. Massive thank you for Reflex and the Foxhall team for letting us do a yeah uh, <laughs> <laughs> up at the uh, restaurant. Hope we gave your food the justice it deserves. A massive thank you to Gemma, the manager, who's let us do this. And thank you, Gemma. Thank, thank you, Gemma. Gemma. Please don't bar us. <laughs> massive thank you again to uh, the kitchen staff and for the uh, Welsh sheep 
that is Brian. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, and uh, well, I've been. Uh, in fact, hang on, I haven't done the plugins yet. Fuck. Uh, so hell. you'll find us on. Thanks, Sp- bar staff. Yeah. <laughs> so you'll uh, find us on Spreaker, iTunes, YouTube. Anything else? Um, all of a good podcast all of, places. Oh yeah, all of a good podcast. All the rev- places. relevant podcast places where yeah. you're listening. Uh, Twitter at UKRAD podcast and, us, and on Facebook. Um, I think that's it. What about yeah. Coxie? You want to get your plug in? Yeah, mate? I was going to say if you want to get your Lost Art plug in. Yeah, uh, find us on Facebook, Lost Art Podcasting, Instagram, Lost Art Podcasting, Twitter, Lost Art Podcast. Of course, find us on Spreaker, Stitcher, iTunes, and all the podcasts. And also, wow. And you'll never guess what his Snapchat handle is. I haven't got Snapchat for it. Ah. I was going to say it's just Coxie. <laughs> <laughs> Surprisingly, it's not. <laughs> No, what I'll start the pod. <laughs> and while I'm once upon a time, bell end. <laughs> <laughs> and while we're, all, we're all, uh, plugging, uh, some point this weekend where there will be a new group appearing called uh, the Falcos Network. It will be up and running by the end of the week. So keep an eye out for that as well. So I've been Al Morrison. I've been Paul the Hat Guy Flunders. I've been Lewis Ogden. Oi, been... oi, oi. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Shut up, Darren. <laughs> I've been Coxie. And this has been the R.E.D. Podcast. Oh, See you later, guys. <laughs> See you next Thank time. Thank you very much. Yeah. I really hope it comes up. <laughs> that would be absolutely piss funny. <laughs> Does anyone know the actual name of the song or anything at all? Just but woo 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 no, it's not come up. Ah, oh, It's bollocks. a Mexican song, but it's not that. <laughs> that a Mexican fun. song? Yeah. <laughs> One minute. Mexican knockoff. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dear me. Come on, hurry up. Come on.